Good evening, wonderful people, great beer friends, wherever you are on the face of this very planet. Once again, we welcome you to another live presentation, another address this very evening from this very place radiating this very gospel of truth and irrepressibility because we cannot be stopped because we have been mandated to preach that is why by the grace of the most high elohim we are gathered all over the world across the entire 24 time zones on this very planet to listen to this gospel and message of redemption a message of atonement a message of liberation a message of hope the message that will take us into that very kingdom on the face of this very earth that very land of Biafra that Yukokika Biama has decreed must be inhabited by his children those he called the children of light we have come to do justice for that which has been preordained before us we have come to preach that even the blind may see the deaf may hear those who are suffering from advanced stages of jangjawidism may be cured of their stupidity that Biafra may be one, one family under God in heaven to restore that which has been stolen from us. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to some of you because there is no other broadcaster, no other listening platform, no other project of information dissemination that can boast of the range of listenership as we command here on this very platform this very radio biafra as i welcome you i will seriously urge you to welcome those who are around you all your relatives your neighbors because before i came on air somebody said to me my neighbor is yoruba and they love what you're doing could you please take it easy and I contemplated and I said, I am under divine instruction. As I am led by the Spirit, so will I preach it. I respect and I love every shade of humanity. Only those who have come to conquer to enslave. Only those who have come to demonize. Only those who have come to pillage. Only those who have come to render the pure children asunder. They are the ones we despise and the ones we hate with every blood in our body my name is Ndamde Kano I am the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra the whole world over in over 100 countries and territories all over this very planet I lead this very divine movement I serve the children of Biafra and I will always serve you until Biafra comes which I know is imminent that I can categorically assure you that Biafra is imminent. I will serve you until the end of my time. We shall not know any corruption. Iniquity shall never be our portion. For Biafra is scrupulously clean in the spirit. All we are waiting for is for the manifestation of that purity in the lives of the men that inhabit this very earth. I speak with every authority. I speak with every command that we have been sent by heaven to propagate this very gospel. And wherever you are, I welcome you. Bring your pen and your paper. And as I chiefly announced before I came on air, I said, if you're Janja Wido Alemajiri, Try and bring your chalk and your slate with you because as we dissect and digest very complicated and very diverse range of information, I would expect you to start memorizing your ABCD to Z before you can join us. 
because your level of understanding needs to grow exponentially for you to benefit from the enlightenment and the revelations that are accompanying this very message this evening. We must pray, but before I do so, I must remind each and every one of you that we are live, of course, on my page, Mazen Namde Kanu, the authentic one I hasten to add, with I think about 400,000 followers, which is nothing, is a drop in the ocean. We are suffering very serious sabotage and efforts to undermine this very project of Biafra restoration by the powers that be, but they cannot stop us. We are on Radio Biafra app. We are covering at least 70% of Biafra land on FM. We are on satellite. Radio Biafra can be received on a plethora of apps, please, and once that advertised extensively. We have come that freedom may prevail in the lives of those who are suffering in the zoo. We have come that the will of God Almighty in heaven may prevail in the lives of those that he blessed and bequeathed the land of Biafra. We must pray this very week, remember those who have gone before us, those who, who fought because I have to be grammatically exact, those who fought and died for us, those who sacrificed their lives that we may live, those who made it possible for this very brave and unrelenting generation to preach the gospel of restoration. And I will pray in the language of heaven. As I have always said, Roman Catholicism, the church of the body of Christ, when it came, it was in Greece. And then after that, it was in Greek, I should say. And after that, it moved on to Latin, but the language of heaven is Igbo language. The language of the ancients, and that is how we acknowledge the presence of Elohim in our lives, and we must ask the Lord of hosts. Some people pray, and they refer to Elohim as the host of heaven, and I say to them, no, the hosts of heaven are plentiful. There is only one God, one indivisible God, ever living, never changing. He is the Lord of all the hosts of heaven. And this evening we must adore him. We must praise him. Onye si se no kuono ya weke nye ni ne nke mara dendo na hu. Isi ki nye wee pata ni mo wa nye wee pata. Anye wee na alyo ginu huru chie. Wee na pokura hanso geze ndi eze. Na si na anu gugumbe wee renke jiri na no. Wee gafe le karanya sa nu huru chie. Na lanso ye bo biafra. No tu aka. Kosi we burun ke jiri na no. We gafe onu ogo gun ke ukusi mbebe nine no wanine. Anyi we ne fegi we na jaye ma. Na asi no bu nane ye bu chine ke nanke prumi ye nine. Onye mo na madu ne fe. Onye ne nyanu fe nki we ni. Amba nye gino wongo kun kona aga. Onye bubaya satiri heni neke yo wanya kereke. Onye ndi mua sina boche se yo kiri kiri. Nasi ya no denso. Ndenso no ni igwe. Obuna di ndio ke nyoru abu ona no. Hase ne denso chineke. Nandidi etu ana tum ole donala. Onye wem na chineke na bikonu. Otuto di rahan sore. Ngozi burunke na nege. Onwego onyo za nye nefe wesu gage. Anyana ka pisya la we nyaro se api rapi. Anyana ye rubele yon pula wanyi kru na fo wime. Nanke bere den gozi. Eze ndin so. Mwano tu onye. Chine ke nanku mwobonye. Onye siye bi pofwa hikawe polite mwobonye. 
we gozi anye no zopuri che we tanye manu we buli mpi anye lubu moya bonde aipi obi no wani ne we kasi jam kendi obola ni ni hulezi oku ni manye na kebre de ngozi anye na sin na kigwe obu sita na magama obu sita ni yuku yonu obu sita na chiche kanyo wani na poge ropota ni men kanyo obu sita na kajo inhe mo ba jo mu o mo ba jo mado ani we na ri o ni onye kacha si he ni na elu bi ko no tutu ni ne na nso puru ni ne ni jama ni ne ni ku si ana li ne di ra ha nso ri onye ka li gba ma ke lu wa si te na bi ge bi ma wo na bi ge bi ka ni na ajo ri ise 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 We have called upon Elohim the way the ancients will do with Kola Nod and spirit. We must proceed this evening very quickly and without hesitation to preach the gospel that we have been mandated to preach. The very reason why we were created, the very reason why Ezra Israel Lobukano Married my mother, Ugreze, Memoku Kanu. They are no longer with us today because they have done their job the same way that most of them that fought for us are no longer with us today. They too have done their job. It is now left for we who are in the land of the living to fulfill this very promise, to accomplish this very purpose. For which we are born. We are going to preach. Without prejudice of course. And I will start this very evening. By dissecting. The character of an Igbo person. And the reason why we are in the mess we are in today. Before I came on air. I saw a very bitter sight. That head bridge in our nature. Was being fenced off by the Anambra state governor. Ill-advisedly, I must say, because you are fencing off Anambra from your relatives in Ahaba, in Anioma, in Aniocha, as it used to be called. You are fencing off your people from Enugu. You are fencing off your people from Imo. We got to where we are today due to complacency, due to the greed of an evil man, due to our selfishness, due to our crippling and debilitating individualism. We are where we are today because of lack of foresightedness, because of our wickedness. That very gate, that very barrier should be built in a one day. That very barrier should be built at the entrance into Biafra land in Idoma and in Igede. It should be built in Ogoja, not for Nambra State to fence itself in. As I told you, you listen to the Janja weed, they have given you a new identity. Before we had Anambra and then Nuku, there was only one Anambra. What could have happened then? There is need for all the governors to coordinate their effort and treat the entire Biafra land as one unit. Not all these subunits created for us by the Janjaweed from the Sahel. That is something that those who are close to Obiano must advise him. That it is preferable for us to see all the governors working together and securing the entire borders of Biafra land. Because if we stop them in Lower Benue, they cannot come in into Anambra. If we stop them in Ewanke, Oshobole cannot allow them to pass through Bini and come into Biafra land. That is called 
foresightedness to be able to anticipate to have a reasonable sense of judgment but they don't see very far all they are bothered about is to loot all they are bothered about is to serve their masters their ginger weed masters in the north and the resultant effect is a very warped way of thinking and a badly executed policy and those barriers must come down those barriers should be erected at the borders of Biafra land to allow people to bingo, to travel, to interact seamlessly in Biafra land. Very, very critical and very crucial. The truth is that Igbo people do not plan or think ahead. Only when it is marriage, when they want to contest for political office, or when they are expecting a container from abroad. I am saying this because I can see the effort that Professor Geoffrey is making of WIC in America to try to get our people to reason properly. He is fighting a battle. And it appears to be a losing battle, very sadly. Because we never ever plan ahead as a people. And this is the consequences. There is a saying in Igbo land where we come from. Some of us come from, not all of us. Because Biafra stretches far and beyond the boundaries of Igbo land. All be that we are one people but different tongues as the centuries have gone on. These are the same people that said if you plan ahead you avoid every pitfall. These were the warnings kept coming that a disaster was about to unfold in our land. Every prophet said it. Everybody, if you have a, should I say, a manageable, or should I say, tangible grasp of history, you should be able to know that what is happening now will inevitably come to pass. We foretold what is going on now. We anticipated it. We announced it to the hearing of the whole world. The entirety of humanity can bear us witness. Prophecy after prophecy, prediction after prediction, what did we do? Nothing. We were more interested in individual survivalism. That is that thing within us. Lack of cooperation. Because those who are piloting the affairs of Biafra are not my relatives. They are not my fathers. They are not my uncles. They are not my children. I have a business in Abuja. I have a business in Kaduna. I live in the USA. I live in Europe. I live in Asia. I live in Lagos. It doesn't concern me. It doesn't bother me. That level of destructive individualism is why we are in the mess we are in today more than any other people. It is down to a very deplorable and ugly threat in an evil person. Very, very ugly. And we must expunge it tonight. We must try, I should try to... Grandmothers are listening. How do I do this now? We must try as much as we can to remove this bad behavior from our system. It's terrible. That is the bane of an evil man. Selfishness to the point of destruction. Not just their own personal destruction, but the destruction of everybody. Had we not rushed back to the north immediately after the war, where people were struggling, what to eat? There was no coordination, there was no planning. Those we are remembering this week, what they fought for, we frittered away more or less. We destroyed everything that they accomplished. Due to selfishness and individualism of an evil man. The same thing that made it impossible after the war for some elders to rise up and go into Ibibio land, go into Ijo land, ask brothers and sisters to reconcile. Knowing fully well the plan of the Fulani, it was incumbent upon them immediately after the war, should I say, in 1976, as soon as Ohanese was set up, it was incumbent upon them I expected them 
to go into the hinterland, to go into the coastal region of Biafra land and say, we got some things wrong. How do we fix it? They never did it. Until I started that very effort in 1999. They didn't do it. And today is not, till today has not been done. I kept quiet to see if they would do it. But they have not. Because of selfishness and individualism. Not that I'm, they were, well, of course, Igbos are very good people. The same way that others are too. But sometimes there is a way you conduct yourself and the way you behave that gives off the wrong vibe and the wrong message. And that is what we are going to correct this very evening, this very morning, afternoon, or night, depending on where you are. Unless it is marriage, Unless it is politics or business, we never ever plan ahead. And that is why we are now having Janjaweed terrorists from the Sahel, across the entire Sahel, supported by terrorists who have been recruited into the zoo army, into our land. We are not a people that learn from history either. We never learn from history. The killing of Biafran started since 1945. Since 1945, they have been killing us every blessed year till now. I want people to count back how many years since 1945 they've been killing us till now. Because they kill us and we do nothing. They came to Uzo one. They came to. They've been. We've been battling with out with them in Ebony. Everywhere you go to, they've been killing us in Delta, in Cross River, in Abidjan. Everywhere that is death. And because we kept quiet. Over many years, they now realized, okay, we have divided them well enough, we have confused them well enough, we have raised enough saboteurs and traitors within them, now let's go and occupy their land. That is why they have come. The truth is that the only thing that has been shielding us for centuries is the mercy of Elohim. In heaven, God Almighty. If it is down to the effort of an evil man, by now we will be a conquered people because of our selfishness, our greed, and our petty jealousy. These are the facts of life that nobody can escape from. It is the truth. And that truth must be confronted this very evening. If because I can see how Professor Joffa is suffering in USA. Every day the man will be lamenting, lamenting. We need help. We need help. They have come. They don't care in America. They have, they don't just, they just don't care. But tomorrow now, if they, if they catch any of them and want to deport them, you see they'll be crying. Saying, oh, Americans are wicked. You saw the way the Chinese were treating us. Some of us complain and said it's evil. But imagine the way you treat yourselves. Look at the way those in America that can fund a resistance have just sat on their hands waiting for everybody to be killed in the village so they can come back and cut a deal with the Fulani to become the heir mayor to take the post land. That's what they're waiting for. That is the height of greed and the height of wickedness. And you claim you go to church, you go to the temple, you go to synagogue all the time. You go in front of of your deity, whatever thing that you're worshipping. And you claim you're an honest person. Every day you bless Kula and you break it and you eat. Ndumirin draws all that nonsense we talk about. We libate with hot drink. We speak to the human spirit when we pour drink outside during libation. After all of that, our behavior is as rotten as a stinking dustbin. As a stinking dustbin. Because I saw what Obiano was doing today and I felt ashamed of myself. And I said, this is not the great race that Lugard talked about. It's not, not, not this chaff. I believe that the real Igbo man died in 1970. Everything you've had ever since is just chaff. Counterfeit. Chaff. Because... Under Igbo Union, if we had Igbo Union, Igbo Union would have seen all of these things before. They would have seen it long time ago and they would have made plans for it. But look at where we are today. Nobody knows your so-called leaders are hiding, doing conference call, doing Zoom, or is it Zoom? I don't know what they call it. 
when you require leadership, they are found wanting. But they will be the ones to rise up tomorrow morning and say, Oh, we are the leaders. We are the leaders. They don't respect us. Some of you that grew outside Ibo land that don't know the meaning of respect. That is something we that grew up in the village. That's something called Okeni oh, Beribe. If you don't know, go ask your next door neighbor. Because some of you grew up in Lagos, in Abuja, in Wisconsin. Some of you grew up in, in, in Guangzhou, in, in China. Some of you grew up in the UK. You don't know what you don't know how we grew up as children. You have no idea about our culture and our way of life. You would not okay, believe, but nobody will respect you. Nobody. When you speak, people will laugh at you. Children will laugh, will make a mockery of you. Because you're old for nothing. Look at where we are today. Look at the mess we are in today. And how sad it is. How sad it is. That Obiana is now erecting a fence on Headbridge. He doesn't know the history of Headbridge. He doesn't know why some people in Anioma are upset. He doesn't know the reason why Achuzia commanded Biafran soldiers and was as ruthless as he was. The same head bridge. He doesn't know the history of head bridge on nature. He thinks it's just something you can wake up in the morning and just close it off. Head bridge on nature has symbolism. Because after Motala Mohammed's second army came into Asaba, head bridge was blown up to slow the advance of the army. And the fighters and the soldiers we had in Anioma could not cross over the bridge to safety. They were all massacred. Some of this history, we have no idea. When people are upset, sometimes you try and find out why they're angry. I saw a video, a very distressing video, where people, our own flesh and blood in Iguacha, after the war, said that uh, Igbo shouldn't come back to Iguacha. Iguacha is, is river state, for those who don't know, but happened. And I was reflecting and pondering, why would this man say this? But he's an evil man. After all, some of people do not, they have no idea about their history. There is a place in Igbo called Omar Daolu. There is nowhere in the entire Igbo land that a village takes after a daughter. These were the descendants of a woman taken from Arochuku to be sold as a slave. And slavery was abolished. And she stayed there. She was the only daughter. All of her siblings were sold as slaves. We sold them. That is part of the reason why God is angry with us. If you go to some places in Biafra land, they will tell you, we don't want anything to do with Arochuku people. They will tell you that. You don't know the reason why. Because of slavery. Because of slavery, if you don't know, let me tell you. Some people despised it. This family was taken, everybody was sold, remaining one daughter, and slavery was abolished. That village became Omoada Olu, the children of the only surviving daughter. The only place in the entire length and breadth of Igbo land where people are named after a woman. You ask yourself, why are people angry and upset with you? Why? Because of this same thing that is happening to us now. Selfishness and individualism. Where we are in Iguacha, those that came from Old Anambra will take those that come from Anambra and take care of them. Those from Imo will do the same all over the place. We never encouraged our own people who are in Iquere, who are our flesh and blood, taken as slaves. Go and ask them if you know history, you know what I'm talking about. Most of the settlements in Iquere land are slaves who were there and slavery was abolished. If you don't know, let me tell you. Go and check your history very well. The white man came and had slave merchants across the coast. Who started selling people? Igbo people started to sell their own people. Before the white man came from Europe, we are selling to the Jukuns. There's a place in Enugu, Nike. If you don't know, the market is still there. Ayabako, Omozakoli is still there. Some of you have read Domenoko. Go and read it very well. It's very clean and clear. 
we sold our own people. So God's anger has been with us from time. God, not the fact that we worship idol, I know for our sin, not the fact that we bow before a graven image. God's anger has been with us from time. Why I'm touching all these things is to tell us that our behavior is very bad, especially at this time. Our land is under siege. How can you be saying to people you should be consulted? Who are you, won't you? To consult you. Janja weed is in your father's compound. You have no shame. You name your children Ahamefula, but your names are lost because all of you in America, your children, they will, they will marry Latinos. They will marry Mexicans. Let me see how you bring them home. I'm giving you only two more generations. You'll be, you'll be wiped away from the face of the earth. Your compound in the village will close down. You are finished. Selfishness. And the Jofa is suffering, running all over the place. I don't talk about IPOB. Because we, we have what it takes to defend ourselves. But we can't defend every village. We can't defend every village. It's not possible. Every year we remember those that died. Every year. After 50 good years, not one monument, not one remember proper monument. You can look at and say, oh, wow. The one I tried to build in Enugu was looking knocked it down. With his thugs. Because he was afraid. Of all the atrocities is committed with Biafra, and thinking once this cenotaph stands, he will die. All of you were there, and he kept quiet. Of course, when the time comes, he will pay very dearly for it. Doesn't he know that? Of course, he pay for it. He will pay very dearly for it. It is that your selfishness that is driving you now. They have come in. Some of you, is it asset to the call it Anambra State Association in America? Can you not reason and ask yourself why is Head Bridge being closed? And what can we do to save our people? You can't do it. Tomorrow you say you're in America. Tomorrow you go and say, oh, it's, uh, you'll be preaching rubbish, democracy, how to be nice to one another, how to be good and all that nonsense. We have our own faults, sometimes even deeper than those from outside that we criticize. I must tell you the truth. Elohim is waiting in heaven. And watching to see what this generation of selfish Igbo people will do. I, I consulted on Igbo this very evening, the very, very first segment. Because if you are the first son of a family, the same way that Anambra is the first son of all of us, Anambra is the beginning of everything. It is their responsibility and duty to rise up and to say, from the likes of Adama, of whom? These are the kingmakers, men of honor and integrity. Men of honor and integrity. These are the men that I respect. They say they have no respect for elders, but I respect the Adama. I respect him. And many others. Our father is there. All over the place. Or should I say fathers? That we respect and accord every honor. But not every idiot. Because in Igbo land there is something called Okeni Beribe. You misbehave and you think you get respect from us. You're dreaming. It can never happen. People are not cooperating. Something happened in Africa. That was why only 5,000 men took over the whole of Africa. The same thing that is happening to us today. The same way the Janja will. The same thing that is happening to us now was the reason why the Fulanis found it very easy to divide and conquer the house of people. There is a very slight history I'll give to you later on so you'll understand it very well. We had a whole year to plan the war in 1967. They killed us in 19, after the coup in 66. They massacred everybody. Who planned the coup? Those planning to keep Nigeria one. The same idiots we have today. Nzovu came to make Nigeria one. He was born in the north. After his school failed, he, the mantle of leadership was taken over by somebody else raised in the north. My mother's uncle, who is at Hironsi, traveled to the north at the age of eight, eight years old. So he's more or less a Kanu citizen. All of them, we are in the north. They wanted one Nigeria. Like Hazikiwe, born in Zungeru, also the north. They wanted one Nigeria. In the search of a perfect Nigeria, Nzovu headed a coup. 
that was tagged an Igbo crew. After the crew finished and they killed all of us, they now said, oh, Aguanam is no longer Igbo. It is a Midwest, Middle Belt, uh, South Belt, uh, 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 Niger Delta, South South. Are you following what I'm saying? It's a very sober because this week, remember our dead. It's a very sober broadcast this very evening, but laden with a lot of information and soul searching, which is the entire essence anyway. We had a whole year to plan. Since 60, 70, we never planned anything until the war came. I was there running around trying to buy weapons, trying to defend our land when it was too late. By the end of it, five million people lay dead. Five million died. No plan, nothing. The same thing that happened then is happening now again. So in 50 years, an Igbo man has learned nothing. In 55 zero years, they have become even more stupid than they were ever before. Everybody has sense. Everybody is, a, is an intellectual. Even an idiot who for the blue file about the office flat file with a, a, a warm constitution in it. Now, gossip, gossiping, that's what they do. Talking rubbish. Enemies are at the gate. They have come. Can you see them? They have come. You are still busy yapping and talking rubbish. Making stupid videos. Talking nonsense and writing garbage. Now, tell me why I shouldn't believe that an agent of the zoo to distract us. Some idiots are in America telling me that they are speaking uh, American uh, Akata accent, talking wrong, talking pure rubbish. You are in your house. Your place is burning. You want to be consulted. But the white people that built America, they did not wait for anybody to consult them. They, they drove the British away. Beautiful civilization now you're enjoying in America. Do you see the difference between a white man and a black person? A white man has shame and honor and integrity. We have none. I tell you the truth. Because if we had any shame, if we had any shame, I was in America. How many months ago was I in the US? I said, how many months ago? I was in Baltimore. There was a town hall meeting in Baltimore. The hall was packed, full of all of you. Isn't it? In Baltimore. I traveled from Washington, D.C. I think we drove for nearly two hours or thereabout to go to Baltimore so I can preach to you. What did I tell you? I need you to contribute one, one dollar each. Somebody asked why. I said because we need to prepare. As I told you in Los Angeles. So people talk about Los Angeles in 2000 and, uh, 2000 and, uh, and, um, uh, and uh, uh, 15. I'm talking about 2020. 2020. Is it, is it, am I correct? 2020 or thereabout. January. Or was it December last year? We went to, 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 to Baltimore. Have you all forgotten? I told you to contribute one, one dollar each. Did you do it? You didn't. Ordinary one dollar. Being a typical Igbo man, typical Igbo man, full of selfishness, greed and envy, self-deprecation. What you are thinking is, he did not contribute one dollar. He was thinking, oh, hi, nah, this is now, like, if all of us now contribute one one dollar, hey, that will give him maybe nearly uh, uh, two million dollars so every month. So, hey, no. Now they have come to your village. The reason for that one, one dollar. They have come. How many of you paid one, one? Ordinary one dollar. One single dollar. You couldn't pay. But you're in America. As selfish as Satan. You people are hot. You are evil. Horrible, horrible people. And I wish that one day America would deport all of you. Deport Hununi in a deport all of you. I'm, I'm telling you, I wish America can deport. You people are evil. Obiano is building gates at Head Bridge. Some of you are sharing it on social media. But you're in America. You don't know why God sent you there? Look at Eritrea. It was Eritreans in the diaspora that saved their country. You don't know that before? You don't know that is your job? You don't know that was why you went to the USA? You don't have no idea? Because you're not prayerful. No, all of you go to useless Pentecostal churches, you are not spiritual. You are not in the spirit. If you are, you would have known the reason why Elohim sent you to America. The reason why you went to Europe. Some of you think it's to, to feed your family. 
love from your mother, your father, and your children come naturally from your siblings. The greatest love in life is the love you have for your nation. That is why people die under a flag. The love you have for your nation, for your people, is the greatest love ever. Not for your wife. Not for your child. The greatest love is the love you have. You have for your nation. And your willingness to sacrifice anything to keep your nation progressive. Not like the zoo. We can't do it. We are intellectual, so. All of you were there, Morrissey, who developed a drug for COVID-19. I've been watching all of them. They never said anything. He was ignored. Janja Weed went all the way to Madagascar to go and bring drugs. Nobody complained, as usual. Only IPOB. Only Namde Khan complained. And then, uh, was it BBC or the channels that ran and interviewed him? And then after that, what? Nothing. You never learn. Every blessed day, Fulani Janja Weed is telling you, we are against you, we hate you. With the, every day, they show it in their words, in their action. That they have brought war to us. And some idiots in America, they want us to buy up and wine and call a note and call a meeting and break it and do a million dollars. This rubbish they do every day. Elohim will give us Biafra. What we'll do to some of you in America, believe you me, you know me, I say my own things fresh, clean, and live. So your envy can increase 10,000 times. Your jealousy can multiply. Now, Biafra will come. What we'll do to you people in America, Americans will be wondering, are you sure you're from that place? Because you people are evil. You people are wicked. Very, very wicked. Beyond belief. Simon, come on, one, one, go like that. So you don't know, so in America, you don't pay tax? In America, to defend America? So you think when America uh, 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 comes out with a stealth bomber, you, you fell from heaven? You don't need these years of research and development. You know, you're not aware of that. I thought you guys went to school. I thought you went to school and you're educated. Sixty-seven. The same thing happened. We lost five million dead in the year twenty twenty. We are still making this. Hey, after fifty years, the same, the same. Look at what talking is talking rubbish. Talking about uh, uh, true federalism. Can you believe? I was there, but I got a in a book through. Are you people mad? Are you insane? Are you insane? Are your brain cells not working? Let me see the idiot that will come out to say that contested. Take a bone hawk. Then you bring out money to buy rice and uh, indomie. Now, those people that you want to convince to vote for you, their lives are under threat. Instead of you to rise up and defend your land, some of you are busy giving our land to Fulani. And I was told, what idiot, Mobunike, we will get hold of you. Check a bone hawk. They say he's the PG, Mobunike. They are selling our land. Do you know there is a native doctor, full and native doctor in Obunike? I have his name, I have his video, I have it. Full and native doctor. That the dead Obunike Igwe, they connived and gave our land, the land of Biafra, to full and There is another idiot in Oba, using a registered business to be buying land from people to give to full and These are evil men. Answering Igbo names in Abuja and in Lagos, going and doing uh, bring Kolanot. Let's pray on top of Kolanot. They don't know the meaning of it. Let's pray on top of Kolanot and break it and eat. They are selling our land to Fulani. Defend that land, they will not defend it. Every time, every four years, they come. Vote for us. Vote for us. Oh. Or the Janja would make them governor anywhere. That, I think that's what's going to happen from now onwards. Do whatever nonsense you like. They, they vote for you in Abuja. And choose whoever they like. Copos are the is giving our land to Fulani. And imagine these schools. There are some things that um, I wonder what our ancestors will be thinking or feeling right now, to be honest with you. I don't know, to be honest. It's very, very shameful. Very shameful. We, for us, it is always what will I gain? Usually. What is my gain? To save your people, you're asking what am I going to gain? What is going to be my gain if I go into this thing? Typically, evil man. Evil man at his worst. 
What are they going to gain? And I said to those, I said in 2009, I said to those of them in the north, one day they will kill you. You see all those properties you are creating in the north, it is gone. Because once they take over the Afra land, they will cut off your escape route. You are finished. Full and it despises you to the bone. Doubly so because Nzogu killed Ahmadu Bello, the Assad one. Their scion, the, 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 the firstborn of their people. A direct descendant of what man done for you. You think they'll forgive you? You are mad, you are insane. Because you don't know history. You don't know anything. You wonder why for me they hate you as much as they do? Because Nzogu killed the Sadwan of Sokoto. Ahmadu Bello. Shot the idiot dead. He was the you, 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 you can define ethnic bigotry. <laughs> Amadi Bello's own was out of this world. And Nzoku was trying to save Nigeria. He, he wants to go over. He wants to was trying to save Nigeria. And look at where we are. Those trying to save Nigeria look at now Nigeria has the zoo has come in to swallow us. And somebody is in America waiting to be consulted. This thing you are doing, I wasn't consulted. Hello, him, please give us Biafra. So we can set an example with those in America that the world may know. You know, the, you know, they the watch cowboy movies and they think, oh, you, you can't stop me from coming into Biafra land. You, can, you cannot. It's my father's land. Hello, him, please give us Biafra. We show those stingy bastards where they belong. Mad people everywhere. It's only people. You cannot go and learn from Eritrea. You cannot go and learn from South Sudan. You cannot go and learn from East Timorese. You cannot learn from Kosovo. You cannot learn from Albania. You never learn nothing in America. Just make money. Every four years you come home. Oh, unbelievable. We must continue. They said there was Rick Esponda the goodwill of people because he was engaged in fraud when... He was doing Biafra. But we are not all the same. I know that IPOB, we've come a long way. We are fighting for our freedom at the most difficult time in our history. When there is no trust and no belief. The little trust that was left was reeked with his criminality squandered, smashed everything into the ground. So if you're asking our people to help now, it's very difficult. No matter how rich I am, am I going to be able to buy a tank? Can I buy an anti-tank missile? Can I, as one person, buy it? The answer is no. It's a collective effort. Everybody must come together. It is a collective effort. We must defend our land. This is not the time to be hiding and speaking. You can see the full and they carry their own AK-47 in the open. They carry assault rifles in the open. It's not hidden. So why are you telling me? Let, let, let's talk under the table. What, what are you talking under the table? They are in our villages with guns. Can't you see? Are you blind? Are you people blind in America? Are you that blind? You want me to beg you to speak nicely to you before you can rise up to defend your land? Are you not foolish? So in the land you're in, when George Washington was fighting the British, they were begging people. That was something I posted about taking an oath. Adams formed a secret society. They took oath in Massachusetts. You know what their job was? To kill Sabo too, as well. Every Sabo, if you are not with them, they kill you. That America you're enjoying, that Massachusetts you're in now, driving your Lincoln Navigator, your big Jeep. That was how they managed to get rid of the enemy and build a civilization that the whole world is proud of. But you're in America, you learn nothing. This week, we remember those who sacrificed their lives that we may live. There will be no movement on the 30th of May until at least 12 noon. There will be a candlelight procession. There will be fasting and prayers. We are going to read from Psalm 1 to Psalm 150. Prayer and fasting for four days. Represent a four market day. Starting from the 27, 28, 29. And ending that very fasting and prayer exactly 12 midday on 30th. I remember what our sister wrote. Her name is Me Me Mercy Carlo. Because when I quote people, I must give them credit for it. She wrote this very brilliant piece. She wrote about trust and test, trials, temptation, and how fire purifies gold. He said, These words are for men who 
have proven themselves worthy. Such men, this is from a woman. You know, that's why I said that Biafra is a motherland. It's our women that can give us, uh, should I say, they represent our moral compass as we navigate this very difficult terrain of freedom and emancipation. Let me read to you what a woman wrote. Such men don't listen to gossips. Such men are not distracted by illusions. And such men don't settle for less. We don't settle for less. Outright victory. They are moved on until they reach their goal. If you truly believe in something, I don't think anything anybody said to you will make you to renounce your beliefs. Otherwise, she mentioned my name. I would have abandoned the struggle a long time ago because our people can be very, very frustrating. But I know they're also very lovely. It takes them time to believe in you. But once they do, oh, I can never remember. Once they do, <laughs> once they do, there's no going back. So in a way, it's also an advantage. Maybe Americans are testing us to see how strong we are. If you know them, go and tell them that we're very strong. We are not moving. Our goal is Biafra. Our goal is not to own a car or to live in a mansion. Our goal is to simply to go and get Biafra. And then after that, I'll retire and go and see if enjoyment is possible because I have suffered enough. I'm telling you. You can never see a Christian or a Muslim renouncing their membership of their faith. Even if you insult Muslims or Christians, it makes them to become harder in their belief. If you kill Christians, you get many more converts. It's only in our own that people don't know that Biafra is a religion. The more you persecute us, the more hardcore we become. The more hardened our core becomes. It's only the flimsy ones. After two, three days, they run away. Oh, they give excuses. Oh, I was insulted. I don't like the way they insult you. But uh, I'll imagine it's killing you. Then your village. And you're still championing one Nigeria. You say somebody insulted you. And because of that, you can't do Biafra anymore. But I'll imagine it's in your village. They've been killing you since 1945. And you're still a Nigerian. They were killed. St. Peter was crucified upside down in Rome. Some were thrown into drums of boiling oil. Cordon of oil in Rome, where you have St. Peter's Basilica. Peter was crucified in Rome. Uh, did that stop you from attending Roman Catholic Church? I'm just asking. You, you, you claim you were shot. I'm just, Peter was killed. Yeshua was killed. People were persecuted. It didn't stop them. It didn't stop them. I can't be given all these flimsy, useless, foolish excuses. All the time. Before COVID-19, I was begging in, 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 in America. One dollar each, they said no. One, one dollar, they said no. In that account in America, do you know what they have contributed to now? $37,000 only. Three, I, you know me, I don't hide anything. $37,000, that's what's in the account. But if you have, hey, they are collecting money. They gave the, hey, China, they gave the money, oh, they are rich, oh, they have money. Only that for how many months now? And the money is still there. Can that, how many rocket launchers can that buy you? Because you know, once we defeat them on the ground, the next thing you see an imagine they do, they will take to aircraft. Britain will give them aircraft to come and start bombing us. You don't know that. That we need missiles that can bring down aircrafts. Don't you know that? You don't, you don't know that's what they're going to do? Do you know when they come to my house on the 14th of September, Nigerian army came with two Bombers, jet bomber two, two attack helicopters, and a squadron that to attack my home. A civilian, I had nothing, not even catapult. They came to with two. What they wanted to do is let my men kill any of them. They would have bombed my village. Exactly what Obasanjo did to Odi. That's what I wanted to do in my village. You don't know that, so you don't know that any contingency you are making has to include making sure that we neutralize Nigeria's air power. You don't know that. You don't know those little bomb places? You don't know? Okay, let any day they start and you retaliate. Let me, you will see what will happen to you. They will send Air Force jets to come and bomb everywhere. That's what they do. 
You don't know that? That's what they're voting for. They have bribed Britain. The British High Commissioner, her bag is full of cash. The U.S. Ambassador, her bag is full of cash. They have, they have made money. Do you think all these things happening in the zoo that they are telling their countries? Of course not. Of course not. They are not telling them. Do you think all this Janja weed moving to Jeffrey Land that uh, British High Commissioner is telling Boris Johnson? No, she is not. She is not. Do you think those in Australia are telling their people? Of course not. They tell, there, there was a few skirmish, uh, Heather and uh, the, the fighting for access to water to feed their cattle. Let's see what we can do to make sure that they go into mechanized farming. That's what they're telling them. Oh, some of you, hey, Chineke, so some of you actually think that the that the British High Commissioner in Abuja have written a dispatch to London to say that terrorists are moving to the south. Is that what you think? Hey, people are people are dreaming. We are on our own. We are on our own. A government cannot act unless they get the intel on the ground. Is Trump going to trust me or trust his ambassador in Nigeria? I'm asking you a simple question. I'm not an American. Is Trump going to trust me or trust his ambassador in Nigeria? You know the answer to that. And that ambassador is saying, oh, there's nothing wrong. He's just um, a bit of COVID-19 here and there. They're just moving south. Oh, that, don't worry. Everything is okay. And Janja Weed are coming to kill us. And they have bribed every media in the world. Two, they have bribed. Why, why is somebody calling? This is not well, you know. Why is somebody calling by this time? Unbelievable. Oh, he, 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 he's not even listening. He's just calling. Want to talk on the air? Just imagine. There's a lot of orientation to be done in Biafra, and I'm telling you, they are not relaying any message to their home country. That is the truth. Before heaven and earth, that is the truth. You must understand that they have started the killing. So if you don't know, but the killing has actually started. What they are now doing is to do exactly what. The Iraqi resistance did to U.S. soldiers in Iraq after Desert Storm. You know what they did? They started to place, you know, pipe bombs like toys, like something can just pick up, like a scrap metal. You don't know it's a bomb. You pick it up and you die. They have started it in nowhere. This is for those who are from over who are in the U.S. Let me tell you, you are waiting for it to start. It started already. Bomb exploded and killed three people in Nemo State. Are you listening? To Germany to rebuild Germany. White Europeans. Do you see why God loves them? Do you see why God is, keeps me? Do you see why they are blessed? How about the blacks? We we are we lost the war, courtesy of Britain. Instead of them to say, Oh, let's rehabilitate this after the war, as there's something called chivalry. They decided not to be. To abandon that very code. Ask any mm -hmm. of any grown up, of course, the ones who are learned. They will tell you what she means. They said no victory, no vanquish, no this, no that, and no that. You know what they did? And we were coming, even the one, you know that, that, that verse in the Bible where uh, Jesus took money from those that don't have and gave to those who already. <laughs> That's what they told after the war. The little we had in Germany or after the World War, Second World War in Germany, everywhere was rebuilt with American money. They destroyed our land. The thing that gives money to the zoo, Nigeria comes from our land. They now came. They open your mother's purse or your grandmother's purse in the bank and take whatever is left there. And some people wake up in the morning and say they are Nigerians. <laughs> Unbelievable. Things are happening if you don't know. Things are happening everywhere. There was a news that broke this evening before we came on air. There is a group now accusing the Janjaweed, the Fulani, Alamajiri, 
that they are the ones aiding jihadist genocide going on as as we are occupied oh, with Biafra land. Oh. You probably know what's happening in Kaduna. <laughs> in Kaduna, there is wholesale slaughter. In Kaduna, Kaduna Christians are being massacred and decimated as we speak. Are you aware of that? No, you're doing one Nigeria. You're fighting for APC and one Nigeria. Christians in Southern Kaduna are finished. They have the, the, the news broke this evening. Let me tell you the people that, that, uh, that uh, announced it. It is the Southeast based Coalition of Human Rights and Democracy Organization. SBCHRO. SBCHRO. They said they have alerted the world, including Western democracies where people have human feelings. You know, no matter how bad a white man is, at the end of the day, at least they have a little bit of feelings. Unlike blacks. What they are saying is that they have told the world that indigenous Christian communities, Hausa Christian communities in Southern Kaduna, in seven local government councils, hey, they are being slaughtered. Chai, chime, People are dying in Kaduna. People are being slaughtered in Kaduna. Like chicken. They have alerted the world. Because you don't have a country. There is no country. Nothing is happening. This is what those in America are praying for. You know that land they are eyeing in the village. A, some of them want a piece of land in the village. They are eyeing it. They are now waiting and saying, Oh, have the killing started? He's in Minnesota. Asking, Oh, has the killing started in Orlo? I want to have, let me know when it started. Oh. That uh, farm belonging to 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 Mrs. Uh, uh, Mr. Kreke's wife. Let me see if, the, if she's dead so I can come back and claim it because it's in the family. A black man in, in America, a black man, an evil man in America is praying that the Fulanis will come and kill us so he will come back and claim the land belonging to the uncle's wife. Hmm. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Some of you don't know what is happening. Go into our towns and our villages and see what is going on. Go to Oka and have a look. Our land is gone. What you are now seeing in our land is round mouth of um, Fulani. Round mouth house. Touch house. In our land. That you will struggle to find a mud house. Despite being stripped bare, more or less, after the war. We lost 5 million people. Those in America, it doesn't touch their heart. It doesn't touch their spirit. They are not moved. They are not moved. They want all of us dead. Go to Oka, you will see it. And these are lands being given by our people. Somebody will come as a land agent. Miyeti Allah will approach him. He will go to the Igwe, the Eze of the village or the PG. That's, that's a, that is why there is this craze now about being a PG. You want to be PG. They're looking for land to sell. Anybody say, I want to be PG is because they want to sell communal land to Miyeti Yala. Have you wondered where that hundred billion they gave to Miyeti Yala where the there was, should I say, what they're using it on? Not just to buy weapons. They're using it to buy land in Biafra land. Now you know. That is why some traditional rulers are busy giving our land away to Miet Yala. The one in Okwa. Give it to Miet Yala. Obunike! Obunike! Please, I'm going to publish that video that I does in Obunike that was talking rubbish yesterday. Publish that very video so you can see it. What is happening? Publish it for them to see. You know, Bunike. And their native doctor, their Dibia, their full and native doctor, you know, Bunike. Doing child voodoo for them to confuse the village. No, and they're confused. That's why they came here to write rubbish. Have you seen your people? These are Igbo. Igbo. I G B O Igbo. You know, Bunike. Traitors. 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 Because of money, cash. Treacherous human beings. You know, talking rubbish. Uh, we'll, we'll get hold of their PG. Don't worry. You hear the story. 
We get one of him. These are the you're selling land to Fulani. Fulani is no. We have the, the the thing that none of the Ghana can come on air and preach falsehood to the world. They don't know who we are. You think I can sit down here behind this microphone that Elohim gave me and I'll be preaching falsehood? Not what I say, I'll be telling lies. You are insane. We will get you. The PG of Ubunike. We will get hold of you. And that day, you, you, you speak Latin, I assure you. My, they are selling our land. Selling our land to our own killers. This is the sense of an evil man. Selling the land of your ancestors to those who are going to kill you. Those that killed you in Kanu. Killed you in Joss. Killed you in, in, in Sokoto. Killed you in Kafanchan. Killed you every... They, you are giving land to them. You know, Bunike. So you're smart. You're a smart guy. You are very smart. And now, Obunike is a mini Fulani Emirate. They think we lie, as they do. The traditional ruler is now dead. And um, um, let us warn everybody, any traditional ruler, Eze, Igwe, whatever you call yourself, if you're found giving land to Fulani, if you're found anywhere, in, we, are, we are everywhere investigating. Any land we go to, we see Fulani, we'll ask them, who put you here? What they say is the Igwe. They show us the receipt or the essay of the land. You are finished. All of you writing nonsense. Oh, in the last respect, write more now. You people are taking money to sell us. That's why we're in this mess today. Because had it was looking inconsistent, we wouldn't be here today. Would have been long gone. Inconsistency. Inconsistency. I don't know what you people are doing with petty money. Chicken change. That can't change your nothing. What, what is this madness about uh, owning a mansion and driving a car? What is that craze all about? What is that madness all about? I'm asking you. Why are you people so foolish? Transient things that are meaningless. A car and mansion. You want to have title. Because of that, you betray your nation. You betray your people. Unbelievable. Obunike is there in council are denying that Obunike is no longer full on the land, but it is. So they think that I can lie to them. <laughs> the PG is in trouble of Obunike. These are criminals. They think they're smart. They want to bring their Lagos and Abuja 419 into Biafra land. You know, doing their Mago Mago. They sell the land. I have the video. I make show them the video of Obunike. They, 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 them and their useless full on the friends, Miet Yala, Iraq. Because uh, Loretta Onoche has her own in Asarok. I think Miet Yala have now even recruited people. Answering Igbo names. Going on Facebook and talking rubbish. Show them the video of Obunike. Mad people. Do you see the, 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 the cheek, the effrontery? After stealing, they catch you as a criminal. The Obunike is in council. You catch them red-handed, selling land to Fulani. They still have the face. They still have the face to come and be writing rubbish. That is a lie. They don't know we have the video. Do I, do I look like somebody who will make an allegation without evidence? Ubunike. Hmm. Hey. Hey. Chubo Kadibo's home. Um, I don't know. Abomination. That is what you get when you have the last of a world in charge. He doesn't know our culture. He knows nothing about our way of life. Absolutely nothing. People are saying land to Fulani. Because they're all compromised. All of them are comp all of them are compromised. All of them. Compromised. And these are the elders one you want to respect. Hey. Stupidity is a disease. It's a disease. And let me tell you why. People don't understand us when we speak. This evening, I want to prove to you that Nyamwodo is in on this scam that is going on, selling our land to Fulani. You know us, we have evidence. Before I accuse anybody in my life, I have the incontrovertible proof. Incontrovertible. Never changes. These are the criminals. Hey, he's, he's our leader. Oh, I, 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 I defer to you, he's our leader. This man is a rogue. Oh no, she, Nyamwodo is a criminal. I have the proof. Oh my goodness. Please, if you have it, you say, go online and check it. 
or Hanese issued a statement about nine months ago. <laughs> you know, sometimes they said internet never lies. You can just go and find anything you want. <laughs> Ibo miscreants, that was what he called us then. Listen. That was when Fulani heads men were killing people. It was a one. Everywhere, massacre everywhere. That was when the governor of Enugu State called us a rock and nobody picked his call because the Fulanis were on rampage. Fulanis were everywhere killing in. Go to a and see what is going on now. Oh my goodness. Go, please publish that headline. Igbo miscreants hide under headsmen to kill innocent people. The Fulanese were innocent. Igbo miscreants. Fulanese are coming and killing us. Anywhere we put up any resistance, they say, oh, they are killing innocent people. Who issued that statement? Ohaneze. Please publish. I am publish that very link so the world can see it. I don't accuse people anyhow. Why would, why would, what would I gain? I, I have integrity and honor. Millions all over the world believe that anything that comes out of my mouth is the truth. And it is. They know I don't lie. Oh, Haneze has made a revelation. This is the news, though. Oh, Haneze Ndibu has made a revelation about the rising rate of kidnappings and killings in the southern part of Nigeria. The President General of Ohaneze, Chifu Niamwode, said, Niamwode said, some Igbo miscreants hide under Fulani headsmen atrocities to kidnap and kill innocent people. Exactly what they asked him to say. His Fulani masters. <laughs> Listen. I say, if I push you, I'll show you we have to follow. Uncle Akam, because you have a guard. Everything I tell you is the truth. The same only word. Word, however, urged traditional rulers, number one, town unions, number two, and local vigilantes to fish the misclass out and hand them over to law enforcement agencies. Not to fish out the Fulanese who are doing the killings and the raping of our women. Which, of course, Dave Umahi, the governor of uh, Ebony State, confirmed. Dave Umahi said that they, they killed, they raped a woman and killed a woman in Ebony State. So Niamh is telling us that we are the ones raping our mothers and killing them in the farm? Hey! Now you see why? Now do you see why? Do you now understand why we are angry? Why we cannot respect people who are working with our enemies secretly to come? They come. You see them in the open. You think they are normal? Oh, we don't like what's happening. We want to restore them. Rubbish. They are their slaves. They are their slaves. You've heard it. Is there? Is online? Not. On, he he issued a statement. We are the miscreants and the Fulani headsmen. Who are in our land are the saints. They are Saint Michael, Saint Gabriel, Saint Yusuf. They are now in our land. Killing us. And instead of Wodo to call a meeting to say what do we do to defend our land, Wodo said it is IPOV that is doing the killing. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> our hands are clean and uh, we are proving it. They now wrote a letter. This one is the asset, what's the name? Association of Southeast Town Unions. The, the same group of people. Asset. I don't know how God is punishing us. Why are you doing this to us? They wrote a letter. I'm going to read the letter. I have another letter to, to read. The, the main topic this evening from Pandev to, to Abuja. I'll read it. I'll analyze it for you. This is a letter from the Association of Southeast Town. The worst world is calling upon. To fight IPOB instead of flanny headsmen. I'll read it for you. They are writing to United Nations from Enugu. <laughs> they are in a lot of garage in Enugu writing to UN in, in New York in, in the middle of pandemic. I want to read the letter for you. United Nations Secretary General, UN Secretary to New York, USA. 
the president, they wrote also the company in Trump, two of them. Special advisor on the UN on the prevention of genocide. Now they know there's genocide though. On, on the prevention of genocide, UN. Everybody was copied in. What is the main heading of the letter? Ethnic, clean, ethnic cleansing and land grabbing agenda in eastern Nigeria. And who are the people to blame? I'll read it for you very quickly. It has come to our attention that able bodied young men from northern Nigeria are being smuggled into the southeast and eastern part of the country in droves. This is in spite of the nationwide lockdown and all the rest of it. And they are coming from the north. So it's not IPOB. As a mood, I wanted to yeah, make them believe. Them. I'm not directing a letter to 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 the to to UN. Do you know what I find very bizarre about the lack of trust and cooperation within our people? Is this you are writing to an organization that is in America, UN, and Trump? Ask yourself. You know, as they would do. You know, in the Western world, when you want to go and register a charity, I'm sure even in the zoo, when you want to register a company or a charity. They will ask you in the Western world, are there people doing exactly what you intend to do? If the answer to that question is yes, then they'll ask you to go and join those people. These people writing this, they know they have World Ebola Congress in America that is actually registered with ECOSOC and the UN. You know the same people that UNPO registered with in order to represent Bim Masopo was leaked. The latest fraud he was working about with. WIC is there already. But instead of going through WIC, there is an evil organization in America, they wrote it on their own. We want to do our own thing as well. Do you see the problem that we have as a people? Is it very now? Is it clear now to everybody? Do you see the problem that we have? Instead of writing to WIC, please, World Ebola Congress. What do we do? We have this. Can we synergize? Can we cooperate? How can we do this together? No, everybody wants his name to be heard. They want to do their own. Who is asset to you now? Who's do you think that you and who's that asset to? What was that supposed to mean? The letter did not come from Hanese. It came from our asset to. What is asset to? I ask you. It means nothing. But your children are there in America. Under the leadership of a Joe for a man that is working, the only one I've seen actually who's in WIC that has common sense, working for his people. They could have uh, telephoned Professor Joe to say, Professor Joe, we have this letter. Help us. Let us coordinate everything so they know we are speaking with one voice. But no, this one will write from Enugu. This one will write from Oka. This one will write from Iguacha. One will write from uh, from Ekom. One will write from uh, Obudu, Kato Ranch. To the same UN, and they get all these letters, and they're thinking, My goodness, are, this, are they normal at all? Now you know what is happening. Do you see how we are? Do you see the way we behave? Do you see what is wrong with us? Can you see what is wrong with us as a people? Everybody wants his name to be heard, even if you don't have the pedigree, even if you don't have the class, you don't have the finesse or the grace to do the work. You want your name to be heard. Why couldn't they go to WIC? They want to, uh, oh, now nah, I sent letter, uh, I signed it, oh, my name is going to appear at the UN. In case Biafra comes. So we will say to our children, we are also part of it. That's what they're doing. Do you see how we reason and how we behave? Very, very sad indeed. We must, as a people, streamline the way we do things. There is an existing UN registered organization with an established name. That is the World Ebola Congress. Submit your letters through World Ebola Congress. They will deliver them. If you are an Ebola organization wishing to reach out to the US-based um, organizations, for instance, or any of this anywhere in the world for that matter, if your petition is Biafra related, you go through IPOB. Because we have the presence all over the world. If it is about Ebola, you go through World Ebola Congress. What is wrong with our people? Why all this duplicity? Why all this, uh, you know, multiplicity of organizations? For what reason? Do you see where our problem lies? They think they can do it, but they can't. And that letter will be ignored, of course. 
But had this letter been submitted through WIC, WIC will give them the letter and also attend UN ECOSOC meetings where they can actually discuss it with UN officials. Now you understand me, don't you? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is what is happening in Okwa. In Okwa. The telephone number is the everything. Please, can you release the video of Okwa? Our people, Igbo people, are selling land to Fulani. Obunike. In Okwa. Everywhere. After selling land to Fulani, and the Fulani is now coming, the same association of town unions will now write to America. You write to UN, write to Trump, and say, oh, please, help us. But you sold land to them. And then I want to tell you that IPOB is the problem. You should work with your vigilantes. Now, do you see it? Have you seen it? What you have done to yourself? As somebody quite rightly said, a all truth must pass through three stages. First, it is ridiculed. Secondly, it is violently, violently of course, opposed. And, and thirdly, it is accepted as being self-evident. That's what we do. We preach the truth. You may not like it, you may not understand it, but in the end, as well, where we are today, did I not tell you we'll be here? I told you, where we are today, that they are coming. I said to you, they are coming. You said, oh, but where are they? You said, I said, don't worry, they are, are they not, have they not come? Have they not come? Have they not come, I'm asking you. And when next I tell you something, you take it seriously. In a country where there is no president, there is no vice president, that is anarchy and chaos and lawlessness. But you, do you know what they are doing? They are busy lobbying Interpol to try and stop me. Do you know that? They want a man, this present IG of police, Mohammed Adamu, to head Interpol. Do you know that? They will be shocked how we know. I got this information from Interpol headquarters. They said they are lobbying Muhammad Adamu. As they, they, in Asurak now, they are panicking. They will be in a state of shock. How come he knows? If I tell them what I know, I will tell them the day I'm waiting for COVID-19 to finish, the day I will do the murder of all exposés about how Buhari died. I will tell, let me tell them something. Buhari had his kidney removed on the second floor of that hospital. I don't want to give them the name. Second floor, he had his kidney removed on the second floor. And um, when the day comes, I'll, I'll, I'll educate the world. They want Adamu to become Interpol uh, uh, head so they can fight IPOB. Do you see how strong we are? Obunike, you see how strong we are? Not Obunike people, please. Your PG, that is a thief. Your PG is a rogue with your dead Igwe. Your dead Igwe is a traitor. He's a criminal. He's a rogue. The Igwe of Obunike is a criminal. He's, a, he's an armed robber. And he's PG. And we'll deal with them. The PG, of course. I tell you what I'm going to do before I do it. We'll deal with you. And he knows we'll do so. The zoo has no president. No vice. They know it is... The, the, some of them have seen the 45 year old boy that Aisha is now proudly parading everywhere with puffed cheeks you can see it that he's wearing a mask everybody can see it and I'm asking you when Buhari was alive did Buhari take any picture with the wife up until the year 20 December 2016 I challenge anybody apart from his swearing in ceremony the first time Show me Aisha Buhari with the dead Buhari. Show me the picture. You people, you don't reason. You have no brain, no faculty, no reason. You don't reason in the black and this UG. Black people. I said, show me now. Now they are doing uh, uh, first family. Should I, should I say fake family? Not first family, but fake family. Show me the picture of the old dead Buhari. Show me the picture. Show me the picture, I'm asking you. And show me where. Show me where. Somebody wrote and said, traditional rulers are enticed with cows, money uh, by headers. That hundred billion from Yeti that, That's where they're using to buy our ego. They bought the ego of a 
What is PG? Maybe he's changed a new car to maybe to Prado. He's talking rubbish. You're a thief. You think Nam the Kano can be preaching to the whole world and preaching falsehood? Is that what you think? When I came on air, when they did the first broadcast, I told you that Habak Yari was in Havana in Cuba. And I told you that Habak Yari was brain dead. They put him on a life support machine. Any day they switch off the life support machine, he's dead. I told you live on air before they announced his death. I told you also, you know, you don't reason. I told Alamajiri, that thing in Asorok will never speak. That's what I told you. Didn't I, didn't I say it live on air? I said, he will never speak. So they said, but why? I said, I know. That thing there is not even Jubril. Jubril is in Havana. As Abak Yari was living, he, the only thing that was in his, give me Jubril. They gave him Jubril. He took to Cuba. Didn't I tell you? Did I not tell you? I said live on air, on this platform, this God-given platform, that that thing in Asorok will never speak. That's what I said. Has he spoken? Has he spoken? Forget all the last matters, the Photoshop pictures. Has he spoken? They said he will speak, and I went to my Facebook page, and I told them, I am waiting. Let him talk. They, they, they quickly cancelled it. So you have forgotten. You don't know how powerful we are, do you? I, I challenge them. I goad them. I challenge them to make mistake. You know that's what we do. We push them, or we keep pushing until they keep every because of IPOB. Now Aisha is not taking picture with Buhari. They claim Aisha Buhari before 2016. Show me your public pictures with your dead husband. Bring it out. Let us see. There is none. This is how we roll. I told you that Elohim will break you into pieces for the sake of IPOB. I said for the sake of IPOB, God will destroy Nigeria. For the simple... Do you know why? Because we hold the key. I call it the key of David. The seven senses of David. There is a, there is a way you ask God for something. You are holding God. He cannot get... He will do that thing for you. David had the secret. And so do I. Elohim said you will pay a very huge price. I said I will pay anything. He said I will give you Biafra, but I will, in front of your eyes, I will destroy Nigeria. I will make Nigeria hollow. That's what Elohim is doing. For our sake. Because God in heaven knows that our heart is clear. Nobody loves our people more than the way we do. Nobody does. We do what we do because we love our people. Nothing more, nothing less. That is, I don't want to be president of anything. I don't want any contract. I need nothing from anybody. I mean absolutely nothing. Let Biafra come and I retire. Nothing. I said nothing. I don't want anything. I don't want, I don't want your mansion. I don't need your car. I need nothing from you. But to do the will of God. That's all. But yet they don't understand it. If I want to sell this movement, I'd have sold it in, in, in DSS custody. In Kujia, they came and I said no. When I came out, they came and I said no. Is it now that I'm going to betray you? It's not, you know it's not possible. My father and my mother, they're in heaven watching. And you think I will abandon Biafra? When my mom and my father are in heaven watching. Hey, please now. Please, give me a break. We are this good at all. You know, I'm, I'm directing this analysis this evening to Oguni Kepepo that wrote rubbish. I believe in free speech. I can never harm anybody for speaking the truth. But if you harm Biafra, we will harm you. And what Oguni PG has done in Oguni is sacrilegious. Giving our life, he doesn't know I have evidence. Giving our land to Fulani. In all in all kind. The same thing in all kind they are doing. Every traditional ruler, I will announce all your names on Wednesday with your pictures. Everybody that sold our land to Fulani, I will publish all your pictures, the land you sold with the videos. I will do it on Wednesday. So that the world may know how evil you are. We are suffering from the wickedness of those in America. 
and you're adding your own wickedness on the ground, where do people want us to go? You want us to go to hell or what? You're challenging me. I told you that Burata is gone. Alamajiri was foaming from the side of the mat, talking about. I said, Buratai is gone. Where is Buratai today? Where is Buratai? Where is Buratai? I'm asking you. You're playing with me. You, you people don't even know. Uh, maybe because uh, some, uh, you know, honor do uh, once you stay together, some people they they think you know. Oh, I, I, I know him now. I told you that Buratai was running to Niger. He's gone. He's not at the front line. Did he attend his mother's burial? He's the chief of army staff. <laughs> you see how Elohim is destroying the zoo. Abba Kiari is from Bruno. They killed somebody. I don't know if it's a Shiba Jan, put him in the ground in, in, a, in, in, a, in Abuja. Is that his hometown? <laughs> you see, Elohim is wonderful. God in heaven. Elohim is fighting this battle. But there is a lesson that God wants to teach you people I don't want to be a part of. We are begging him, please. There is a lesson. I, God is so angry with Hebrew people that he wants to teach them a lesson. With your full hand. You know that's how Elohim works. He always uses your enemies to punish you. I'm asking him to have mercy. We'll cleanse Biafra land. We'll, once you give us Biafra, we'll cleanse everything. Because a lot of abominations. Like imagine a, a traditional ruler. The day he was coronated, he was in the market in the village square of our forefathers to defend the land and the culture. He, the, the land he gave to Fulani. You know, he gave, gave to Fulani because of money. Now he's in the grave. He cannot eat the money anymore. He's the PG that is uh, running his mouth until we catch you. Then you will know. We'll catch you. The Nigerian army that specializes in attacking civilians, we are this Buddha Thai. Nigerians are just useless. It's just when, when uh, Loretta Onochie, the ex harlot uh, in fact, she, she's a lot, of course, a tra human trafficker. When she she gives you 3,000 naira a week for data, you're laughing rubbish. Hey, oh, 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 yeah, he's coming. He's talking from London. From London. And your rock is empty. No, no, Buhari. No, Sibanjo. No, Bulatai. Nothing. And you're still running your mouth. Like he, 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 just to make a noise. You don't know who we are. Your ass rock is empty. The day we open it to the whole world is the day the zoo comes down. Let me see the government of the world that will support such, a, such, oh my goodness me, high crimes and misdemeanors. Aisha will go to prison. Aisha must go to jail. You don't know who we are. We never let go. They think if they come, hey, hey, talk about something else now. Every time it's Buhari, every time they Photoshop, rubbish. We stay on it. We are not going anywhere. We stay on it. That you may respect us and know that we are not like anything you've seen before. IPOB is not like anything in your in your craziest dreams. You have never seen anything like IPOB before. Our madness is on a different level. As I told you before, if you want us to get to the gutter, before you come in, I'm there waiting for you already. Mad people everywhere. You blocked us, air, land, and sea. Your, uh, Egyptians are flying your jet. British army officers were on the ground directing the attack against Biafra land. Britain enforced air, land, and sea blockade. No food, nothing. We held that for three years. Talk less of now that Britain can no longer come. Eh? Huh? <laughs> okay, you're counting on the wickedness of people in America. Okay, I can understand that. They are counting that Britain may not come to help us kill all of you, but your brothers in America, they are so wicked that we know they are not going to help you. Maybe Afra will come. And every aircraft landing from America will pack it one side, under the sun, one side. Now, all those human rights groups in America that will be complaining, but there is a, a stranded a, a aircraft in, in Biafra, full of American citizens, starts complaining from now. Because those your citizens they are wicked. A plane will land because the first airport where the is Uli. Uli, Uli. So for symbolism sake, that is where the first aircraft will land in Biafra. 
Once it's landing in Uli, in Uli Airport, once they say South America will pack you to one side. What? Some will be deported back. Biafra land, you are abandoned in a time of need. You want to come back. I come back and do what? All of you that believe in, in researching and specializing in rubbish, I hope all of you can see the wickedness of you people in America. I hope you can all see it. You can see it now. You can see how wicked they are. That Fulani are in our villages. And they are waiting for us to call a party for them so they can dress very nice and come and display. Igbo people. Igbo. IG. When the time comes, they will be the ones to complain the most. And we will deal with them. And it is that time, believe you me, that they will know, oh, we are going to fight you now. We are going to buy weapons start to fight you. But now, they will not fight you. They will not come now. It is when... We have secured their friend and use. They will buy. That time you will come. The Jews did it as well. You see, our brothers in Israel, you know, we are the same people. The same thing. Jews in the same America, before, before um, Golda Meir went, they petitioned them. They said, no, that Ben Gurion cannot do what he's doing. You cannot make Tel Aviv the, the temporary capital of Israel. No, no, no. We want, you see that Jerusalem or nothing. You know what they did? They never gave arms to Ben Gurion. But they went and bought arms to come and fight him. Not to fight the, the Arabs. No, 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 no. Ameri Jews in, in America contributed money, bought weapons to come and fight their own people. Come and fight them. Not to fight uh, Arabs. The same thing will happen now. And we will kill all of them. Go and bring it and come now. You think because you're in America, you, you watch uh, Rambo. You think it is Rambo. You go and come. We will teach you a lesson. We will show you that wickedness doesn't pay. That your wickedness now in America will never pay you. And all the Sabo can never come home forever and ever. They can never come. Sabo can never come to be a land. If you like, if you're escorted by, by 10 amnesties, you can't come home. Mad people. Where is Bulatai? And you're playing with us. Because uh, I know them. We went to primary school together, secondary school. You don't know who we are. We are IPOB. I'm not a quad. We are IPOB. Ask how many means they will tell you. Mad people everywhere. It was one Nigeria that cost us. I'm going to read a letter to you. An open letter from those that call themselves Niger Delta. From Pandev. I watched them. Need these days when they want to mention Niger Delta, there's a type of uh, their tongue will be vibrating. They are no longer sure because that is the height of stupidity. Once you say you are a Niger Delta person, you are an idiot, a complete and utter idiot. You are an idiot in the morning, an idiot in the afternoon, an idiot in the evening, and I'll prove it to you why you are a complete all-rounded fool. Nothing like Niger Delta. If you say Joe, I will understand you, I respect you. You say Uruba, I will respect you. If you say Isoko, of course, fine. If you say you are a BBO, you are a you are on, you are an, I respect you. But to open your mouth and say Niger Delta, it means you are a fool. You are raised in the zoo. You are a zoo animal. Your brain cells are not functioning. Not well. We must proceed. They wrote a letter from Pandevo. I call them the, you know, every ethnic group, they have their own flavor. They say, oh, they are the elders. I say, you are talking rubbish. When you see, hear Aya Devan just speak, you will know. You will know an elder is speaking with authority. Asking them, come back and protest on the street. We are here. We do when you hear a genuine elder concerned, you will know. Go and listen to what they were saying. A man I respect immensely. But you remember people won't write about it. I had a banjo. And of course, I hope that um, this other young boy coming up now, that he remains consistently consistent. He may inherit the mantle of Ayaba, Ayaba the banjo. <laughs> they wrote a letter from Niger Delta. <laughs> they wrote letter. Now they're writing letters. <laughs> the same reason why they hated, of course, uh, maybe they may have good reasons <laughs> of hating an evil man. <laughs> let, let, let us go and see. Because Edwin Clark was a traitor during the war. He was a saboteur. The head of Pandev was a saboteur. Sabo. You know, Fulani, they know how to arrange the, to play their game. As I told you, that's why they put the them there. To play the game of getting them a loyal or Hanese president general come December of this year. Erin Clark was saboteur. 
Sab Hef Konkwan. They, they bought him with ordinary Federal Commission of Information. He became useless to his people. Even at his old age, he cannot repent and say, God, forgive me, for I have sinned against your children. Edwin Clark. <laughs> he's now writing he's now a letter writer. He's writing a letter. Let us read the letter for you. NMPC appointment. Now they have woken up that there is nepotism. Now that Jigawa actually owns the oil in the southern part of Biafra, now they know it. Now it is very clear. But these are the same people that told you new woman is your problem. Have you forgotten? These are people that told you, oh no, Biafra is bad for you. And I kept preaching to you, telling you, the reason for that is because they want oil and gas. You never listened. Because you're deaf. The same thing. All of you are the same. All of your friends are the same. Ibo, Ibibio, Efiko, we are all the same. The same character. The same bad character. The same bad character everywhere. You are not writing letter. letter. And let me read the letter for, for you. You are writing to Buhari. Does Buhari exist? Is there any Buhari? That thing that you saw today you, in a picture with, um, with Aisha, is that Buhari to you? Does that look like Buhari to you? I'm asking you a question. Is that Buhari? Ajo Kamina Ajo, is does that look like Buhari to you? The answer is of course, no, it is not Buhari. <laughs> because Buhari is dead. Long gone. All of you are grown up men, old men, all deceiving themselves. Nobody can speak the truth. All deceiving themselves. If not for a brave Igbo woman, Dora Kunili, Dora Kunili, they would have done the same thing with Karadua. They would have gone to the mask, told you all manner of rubbish. Your Bapas will defend them and the impunity will continue. Dora Kunili said no. And she paid with her life. She was poisoned. And you want me to respect you? Dora Kunili has my respect. There's a letter from Pandev to uh, uh, a group of a Fulefu writing to Abuja, addressing, I will read it for you, addressing the continued injustice against the Niger Delta people. Who are the Niger Delta people? As he's talking this rubbish, he doesn't know that Abia and Dimo are part of Niger, Niger Delta. Are you aware of that? Are you people aware that Abia and Dimo is part of Niger Delta? One morning is a uh, is Niger Delta. They say, they say oh, it's, it's a Niger Delta affair. Igbos are not welcome. But according to official government papers, on those states is also Niger Delta. Imo is Niger Delta. Abia is Niger Delta. They both have oil. Are you are you following? <laughs> do, do you see do you see the brand of stupidity and idiocy they exhibit in the zoo? Do you see why Nigeria is a zoo? Where people with degrees they read abroad, they went to Cambridge, Oxford. The same kind of Oxford that everybody went to, they come back and their brain for some reason goes into a reverse because of their day-to-day -day dealings with Alamajiri. You know, Alamajiri will contaminate your brain. Let us read. The lopsided appointments in NMPC and ISO. They are not writing a letter. If it is people who are united as one block, one eastern block, or should I say one southeastern block, one people, one Biafra, you go to Abuja, what do you think they will do to you? Nothing. But you, but you cannot do it. The reason why you cannot is because they are the ones that put... Because if a green clerk talks too much, they bring out his file, how he betrayed his people. They have all their files. As and now they can't talk. Ask yourself, why is Niawo not complaining bitterly about a full presence? Ask. They will tell you. Has so was Rika condemned the the uh, Janjaweed in our land? Before they said they will for, he will first of all take uh, permission from Al Mustafa and immediately Allah. Please don't I'm going to say something. Don't mind though. I don't want people to think that um, what uh, Kami is saying is true. Let me just say something. That's what they do. And you think we cover up that nonsense? No. Biafra is going to be a very transparent society. Very, very. Firstly, we wish to extend our deepest condolences to you. These are people writing against injustice. This is how they open the letter. Firstly, we wish to extend our deepest condolences to you on the passing of Malamaba Kiari, your late chief of staff. We supplicate the almighty for the repose of his soul and the souls of all our countrymen and women who have died as a, as a result of coronavirus pandemic. We commiserate with the families and these are people writing against injustice. So this is just the first paragraph. 
Oh dear. While we wish all who are currently undergoing treatment speedy recovery, it is our hope that government and all citizens will take even greater responsibility to stem the tide of. Let me go to what they're saying. They're talking rubbish as as usual. <laughs> as usual. Talking about Malamaba Kiari. Mr. President, the leadership of PANDEF, Pan Niger Delta Forum, whatever it means, has in the last two months again been inundated with complaints over the continued seeming, seemingly deliberate and calculated sidelining of indigents of the Niger Delta region in appointments and redeployments in the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC. When you ask them, why do you hate an Igbo man? They say, oh, he's domineering. Now I'm asking them in English language, what is it that Fulanese took over NNPC? What is the term for it? It's not domineering. Uh, no, they are everywhere. It's not domineering. But Igbo man is domineering, yes. But why, why not Fulani? No, because he's a... <laughs> hey, Niger Delta idiocy. You know that when you betray your people so much, you keep betraying, you become useless to even yourself. That's what they have done. I say what I say with facts and figures. You are writing letter. You are calling yourself a Nigerian. I'm what what for any what Nigeria has done to so-called Niger Delta, the, the bombing of who the invasion after invasion of every head of state. Is it what is it is it comparable to this thing you said the people did to you? And what are those things? You can't say. Can you? No. The reason why you're answering Delta is because you want to remove yourself from an Igbo man. That is the reason why. Yes. Are you having fun with one Nigeria? If you have if you prefer Nigeria to Biafra, why then are you writing a letter of complaint? So do you seriously think that in Biafra land, every position in our oil sector will be taken by the people? Is that what you think? In a Biafra, where you will control the resources in your own land, everything in a Jaw land belongs to Jaw people. Everything in Isoko belongs to Isoko people. Everything in Urobo, the same. Everywhere. You abandon all of that. Because of your inferiority complex and stupidity and the blood of betrayal inside in your bone marrow is betrayal. You ran to Fulani. Now they have dealt with you. You are now begging writing letter. I don't have time to read all this rubbish. And you these are intellectuals. Intellectuals, my foot. You are placing advertorials. Let me read it for you, please. These are the people that you love, you want to be in one Nigeria with. Group Managing Director, NMPC, Group Managing Director is Melekolo Kiyari. Not an Igbo man, no. Who are dominating them all. You want to dominate us because of our oil. You want to come for Biafra because of oil. How stupid, how insane people are. Who is in charge of oil? Who is in charge of oil, I ask you. It is a man called Kiyari. You see, Fulani, as Lugard said, they are spent thrift. They know nothing. Their brains are empty. They move cattle. They procreate. And they spend money they don't have. Have you seen it? Why they need to place their people in key positions. Who is the finance officer of NNPC? Uma Isa Ajia. Is he an evil man? No. Who is the chief operating officer? Gas and power. Yusuf Usman. <laughs> one Nigeria with Niger Delta. Are you enjoying it? You're one Nigeria? Are you having fun? Edwin Clark, you are a betrayer. Are you having fun with your one Nigeria now? Who is the chief operating officer, corporate services? Farouk, Galaba, Said. And is that an evil man? This was the nonsense they told you. They told, fed you with garbage. Garbage during the war. Fed you nonsense. They dress like Biafran soldiers. They go to villages. They commit atrocities. They say, oh, Biafran soldiers came and killed us. So, you see, which is a lie. A capital lie. Now, have you seen it? Now, have you seen it? I'm asking you. Betrayers in Niger Delta. Anybody who calls himself or herself a Niger Delta is a saboteur. Sabot to the core. You are a betrayer. I tell you the truth. 
There is the evidence. Who is the chief operating officer? Refining and petrochemicals. These are the magic that didn't go to school. They have no doctors, but they are everywhere. His name is Mustafa Y. Yakubu. Who is the corporate secretary? It is Hadiza Y. Kumasi. All oh, hey, are a consultative forum. <laughs> All of them. Omar Farouk Ibrahim, Kalamu Abdullahi, Ibrahim Brema, uh, Bala Wunti. Hey. I thought you said he was. Hey, in fact, Yoruba, where are you here? Yoruba, I, I find, not a friendly friend, I'm a good people. Yoruba of um, of uh, Timumbu. Timumbu, where are your people here? Yoruba? <laughs> Do you see why I said they, they prefer to serve them? I don't know. Is it something in the suya? There must be something in the suya you eat. Once you eat it, you become stupid to the following. Who is the governor, governance risk and compliance? Ibrahim Brema. Balawunti. Inua Waya. NMPC Shipping, Musa Lawan, Mansour Sambo, Lawal Sade, Malami Shehu, Muhammad Abba, Abdul Kadeh. Hey, the whole NMPC, NMPC, the whole MP, NMPC. This was the NMPC in the clip that got me upset this morning where our people, our own people, a job equally we are saying in the watch we don't want any woman to come back oh, to NMPC to work oh. I have the video I have the video now I'm asking you do you see how Elohim works now I'm asking you you are from equally you are from a job you are from Urobo are you in NMPC top echelon no no have you seen it this is an example that treachery never pays betrayal is not good when you betray your people, you suffer the consequences. Have you seen it? That betrayal is not good? You call yourselves elders. See it now? Edwin Clark, when you are sabotaging Biafra, when you accepted ordinary commissioner for information, it will be close to Fulani, so you'll be the only cock growing in the village, you'll be the only rich man. Have you seen the result? Edwin Clark, as old as you are, okay, so energy. Have you seen the result of your treachery? Have you seen the result of so called Niger Delta betraying Biafra? Have you seen your punishment? Have you seen it? Have you seen the pollution in Ogoni land? Have you seen? Do you know what is happening right now in Bonnie? Are you aware this evening what is happening in Bonnie? You know all those fishes that were killed due to poisoning? People ate it and they are dying. And IPAB members are involved in Bonny right now. People are dying from eating contaminated fish. Are you aware? These are people that we are lied to. Your own flesh and blood, your own brother. Somebody came from Futajalon, from Mali. Traveled with cattle, with Nama, came to our land and told you that your own flesh and blood is your enemy. You accepted. You think God won't be upset with you? Is that what you think? Do you think you are foolish? It's all for you. All for me. All of their families are there. Kumasi, Akiyari, all of them are out there. With all of them. And you ask yourself, are the Fulani the, the best petrochemical engineers you have? Of course, the answer is no. But you see them. That's why they want presidency. It's our turn. It's our turn. Every year is that turn because of this. They produce nothing. They contribute nothing to the economy. They are as useless as a used tissue. Absolutely rubbish. That's why they want power. And who made it possible for them? The traitors that call themselves Niger Delta. You can see it. Anybody who calls him or herself a... He wants to open their mouth and say, Niger Delta, they are traitors. These are hardcore traitors. I want the light to be shining because we are remembering those that passed. We must, we must honor and remember them. We must honor them. Very, very important. We must honor them. NMPC is gone and they are begging. The oil producing, listen all, listen all, listen. They said the oil producing zones. I, I'm reading this part for those idiots that call themselves Niger Delta that say you want our oil. I want to read. This is from Pandev. From the Axe Traitors themselves. They said the oil producing zones of the South, South, Southeast and Southwest. Oil producing. So now you agree that Southeast produces oil. And who are those in the, in the Southwest? They are 
People that our own flesh and blood, our land that was given to on the state, there are Ejo people there in Ondo. And they will come with us. His own, uh, let me, his son is in Ondo. Because of all you well, they, they redo the boundary to put our people inside Ondo. Because of all you well. That's how they say Southwest. If you hear Southwest, you think that everywhere in, in the West is full of oil. No. It's our land that they gave to them. But we don't mind. As long as they come back. And we'll give them oil and gas for free. We're not doing anything with it. Oil and gas is the mainstay of lazy people. It's the mainstay of the economy of very lazy people. We are not lazy. We are not. Elohim built Radio Biafra, Biafra Television from nothing. From nothing. So we are creative. We know what to do. Not oil and gas. As for economy of, of it, people who can't reason very well. Typical run tier economy. Now they agree oh, that South East produces oil. Are you here? Oil people, can you hear me? Those saying you want me for my oil. Can you, from Pandev, they've actually agreed at last that South East actually produces oil. And most of the oil come from South East and gas. They just pipe it underground because no ship can come there into the hinterland and take it to the shore and they just ship it to the coastline. Simple arithmetic is, is lost on them. Tomorrow now, one idiot will write from somewhere in a, in 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 Arugungu and write rubbish. Uh, you want you you be Afras, man. Take, take your five states and go. I say you're a fool. Opobo is Biafra, isn't it? Is but don't they speak Igbo in Opobo? Is there anybody in Opobo who doesn't understand Igbo language? Is him done not Igbo? I, I heard somebody mention uh, saying something today about Edo. Edo, Edo, Edo. You are in Edo. This, in a door, Biafra wants to come into a door, and I'm, I'm just laughing at them. And I said to the person, can you confirm to me that Ishan women, Ubaji, that's their name, not Ishan. Ishan women, do they tie two piece wrapper? I said, yes, I said, of course, they're Biafra. They said, oh, they're in a door. We a door. I said, no. Igodomi Godo is different, not Bini. I went and did some research. The proper name is Igodomi Godo. They are calling them Niger Delta now. Their proper name is Igodomi Godo. That's the proper name, not Bini. Bini is not the proper name. Igodomi Godo is the original name. As I kept researching, Igodomi Godo means the key that opens the key. You understand that? And Igodo is what we call key in Igbo land. I'll get to that later on. Get to that later. I'm just trying to let them understand that we know history. We know the history. The name is not Bini. The name is Igodomi Godo. Go and research it very well. You know, the English Encyclopedia, for those who don't know. We, we, we proceed. Now they agree that South East produces oil as well. NMPC board it has been con every time only Fulani Janja weed all over the place. Fulani Janja weed have taken over. Now they are complaining. Aquaibon produces the largest amount of oil, followed by Delta, Rivers, Edo, Ondo, Imo, Abia. <laughs> That's how they are. <laughs> and all your production in the north is zero percent. You're complaining. So when you are betraying their fight, you didn't know this is the answer. All a full any man needs to do uh, 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 on the advice of the British is to divide you into two. Once they divide you, you keep saying you want us for your oil, they are sucking the oil themselves, eating everything. So when you complain, it's like uh, pouring oil on the back of a tortoise, it doesn't make any sense. You can complain from now till the kingdom come. You complain and you go and sleep. What can you do? Nothing. When you are betraying Biafra, I didn't know. You are telling me that an Igbo man is so wicked that should they be in charge uh, of any government that they will make sure that an Igbo... I'm telling you, somebody from there will come up and say, this is not good. We won't have it. You call yourself Niger Delta. Niger Delta of, yeah, of Nigeria. Look at the result now. Because I have no shame, no class, no dignity, no no self-value, no worth. Keep on deceiving yourselves, calling yourselves a useless name that has no meaning. Uh, they, they'll be goading you. Fulani will be, look at the Fulani, treating you like a child. Goading you, no, no, who, 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 who said they're not Niger Delta? They're not Niger Delta now. What is the meaning of the name? You can't tell me. You have a Niger Delta region. And you think these are our people? No, they are all Alamajiri on 33,000 a, a, a week. To writing rubbish. That's why I'm very, very glad with what IBB family is doing in Bayelsa. 
they are doing marvelously well. They copied everybody here. They they cc'd everybody. They copied Senator Ahmed Lawan, uh, Femi Bajabi Amila, uh, Ovia Omo Agege, Chairman Senate Committee. Everybody was copied in. This is the thing about these people that I don't understand. Listen carefully. You see this pandev, why I hate them with a passion. You see anybody, I told you before, if you call yourself Niger Delta, you're a criminal, you're a rogue, you're a thief. Check it out. God will punish you. God will punish you. Do you know that pandev wrote a letter? In that letter, they said that South is all you producing. Is that correct? But now listen very carefully. When they were sending out the letters, there is no Southeast governor copied in. Let me tell you those they copied in. They copied in all their full name masters. Odom Emmanuel is there. Uh, Diri is there. Bayasa State. Ayade is there. Cross River State. Okowa is there. Delta State. Obaseki is there. Edo State. Edo State. Wow. Um, Wike is there, of course. River State. How about the governor of Fimo State? Not there. Albeit from, from Federal High Court in Abuja. How about the governor of Abia? He's not there. But they copied in every other governor they claim produce oil. And this letter is coming from our own flesh and blood, fellow beer friends. You see what shame has done to them? You see what shame causes? Out of shame, out of shame, all of a sudden, Pandev cannot copy in at the state governor. But they copied in, uh, 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 um, what's it called? Um, uh, every other governor that has they claim produce oil. Non female. In my, in, oh my, you know, when you commit a crime, you begin to, you, be, you become ashamed of yourself. That's what they're doing. And I'll be on this case of Niger Delta. As long as you call yourself Niger Delta, you're an idiot to me. I don't regard you as a human being. And the more you remove yourself from Biafra, the more Fulani will deal with you. They will deal with you. They would, I pray that we conduct a place beside, and majority will say, oh no, uh, 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 Joy is not in here. We want to go with the north. No. They will colonize you. They will subdue you. They, they, will, they will use your mouth to, 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 to drink contaminated um, water from oil head. Useless set of people. You th think I'm here to pet idiots? Think I'm here to, to, to massage the ego of fools? You must be doing. Look at what I'm doing to you. Or oh, out of shame, you can no longer say, "Oh, let me copy in a state governor." Ibaso, or copy in the Supreme Court governor. Uh, who opposed them of Imo State? You couldn't. You can't. You can no longer do. Out of shame, now you know that betrayal doesn't pay. Now you know that betrayal does not pay. If you keep betraying people, you will lose. That's what's happened to you. Shame on all of you. Let me see the useless mouth you open to tell me about Niger Delta. We, we, we Niger Delta. Who is Niger Delta, I'm asking you? Who the hell is Niger Delta? Shameless people. Shameless idiots. Who the hell is Niger Delta, I'm asking you? Define Niger Delta for me. What does it mean? It's like a you. O Ogoja is Niger Delta? O Ogoja is Niger Delta? People are mad. Insane people everywhere. And uh, uh, and uh, uh, somebody wrote in 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 a newspaper, uh, uh, a civil rights group, human rights writer, Huri Wa. Is now everybody's waking up. You are giving all the positions to Fulani. You, hey, if it's an Igbo man who is in charge, who is the president of Nigeria, and you give, uh, hey, remember, Yoruba said the reason why they voted for Buhari was because they didn't have any presence in the government. Not minding, they had uh, uh, positions there. Not minding. What time is it, please? The time now is 10 minutes. We've gone for nearly two hours. Unbelievable. I didn't even know that. I didn't know that. And it's holding up very well. Do you know that Yoruba said the reason why they did not vote for Jonathan was because there was not enough Yoruba in it. But now, what is happening? The, the device they have is missing. Is it not missing? Is it not missing? Um, in fact, they are collecting money. I think it's a... Uh, Works is it works minds and all the nonsense? They are now happy in the government, and the poor people are suffering. There are poor people everywhere, even amongst the full and new 
instead of all these poor people to sit down and say enough is enough every time oh respect the elders oh. but the elders are the ones killing us they are the ones killing us they are the ones selling our land to Alamajiri they are the ones now begging after betraying Biafra you are now begging for Furani to have mercy and maybe give us one position now and they are not dominating you is anyone who comes to you but you start running your useless uh, 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 talking rubbish with your useless mouth, stinking mouth, you're talking nonsense. Naja that about work, mad people everywhere. Yes. They have taken, Fulani has taken over everything. Now, now you people have woken up. Everybody's now shouting, Fulani this, Fulani. So you never knew that before? You never knew that before? Or you are too hopeless and too stupid to understand this Yoji, black people, people can not reason very well. You can't reason. There is an opportunity now to correct everything. The opportunity is there to fix everything. Once it is out in the open that Nigeria has no president, they can no longer hide. When is that boy going to speak? Do you think he's ever going to talk? And what is, which which software would they have? Uh, we don't have. I am asking as a rock. Which software are you? Which software would the Chinese have that we don't have already? Waiting for them. Ordinary picture. You've been trying all this while to Photoshop yourself into relevance. It's failed. Every picture you bring out. Every picture, you, once we look at it, we tell you where the faults are. Everywhere. And as I've told you, once they issue a picture, quietly go to that picture and keep keep magnifying it, expand it, you will see that the face of the idiot wearing a mask will dissolve. Go and try it and see. To let you know that it's all fake. All fake. Hey, are you telling me, hey, now make a hey, he might, they think he been insult us. Oh yeah, he's very stupid. He's a psychiatric case. They think if they say that, we will stop. You don't know that is where we get our energy from. If I'm not a madman, I'm not an agitator. What are, is an agitator normal? When you're fighting for freedom, are you normal? Can, can, how can you be normal? When you're fighting for freedom. In simple everywhere. The, these are people from the south still begging the, the north. One, Enahoro wrote, is a veteran journalist and activist, Peter Enahoro. He, he, he called for restructuring. And I'm telling Mr. Enahoro, you are wasting your time. There is nothing like restructuring. We are not interested in your stupid restructuring. If what Fulanese are doing to you is not enough to tell you that you should go your own way, that means you're even a worse fool than I had thought. They say I insult people. I want me to insult you. You're a black man. You're stupid. And you want me to tell you that you're intelligent? Is that what you want me to say? Oh, uh, it's nice. Oh, I don't do that nonsense. I don't. I don't. I have no time for idiots. How can you be talking about this in a country where the full army, a president is dead? Dead, no vice president. A woman who was not elected brought her lover into the villa. Are you people insane? Are you mad? What are you restructuring? It's not to talk about breakage. Let everybody go there. Talk about restructuring. Let's restructure the polity. Are you insane? Some of you cannot speak very well because you are compromised. Allow us to speak because we are not compromised. Allow us to speak. We are not compromised. I remember somebody said, hey, he's been bribed by APC. You think I've been bribed by APC and I say all these things about them, they will not tell, tell the whole world the deal we, 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 we caught? You don't know that? No, some of you are too daft to, to be able to reason that through. I had a sip of water. Peter Enahoro, go and tell yourself and your friends we are not interested in any stupid restructuring. All the nonsense about region, 1960 constitution, rubbish. We want outright independence. We are going to conduct place beside the friend everywhere, every formation, every nation. We ask you in simple English, do you want to be part of Biafra? Yes or no? If you say no, we say bye bye. But the day the Flanders will come to take your land, we will not come to help you. Simple. You think we are begging? Why should we beg anybody to be part of Biafra? Why? When we know that after six months of Biafra's independence, you'll be begging to come in, you're begging for visa to come. Why must I beg, beg, beg you for what? People that fought the resisted the whole world for three years. Russia, Britain, Egypt, OAU, Yugoslavia, name it. 
If you think you beg you to come and join me, you're insane. You see me begging. Mad people everywhere. And in the middle of all this nonsense, pe people are busy selling our land. Selling our land to follow me. And you want me to be happy, to pamper you, to tell you you're a nice person. Oh, how nice you are. Oh, huh. oh unbelievable. My happiness is, today is that even clans in Edo and the great Bini, I love Bini Kingdom, I've been saying it from day one. I love their tradition, I love their culture. It's Igodomi Godo, of course, it's not Bini, it's Igodomi Godo. I love their culture, I love their, their warriors. They went to war, they fought like the Biafrans, they fought the British. They fought the British very well. They are the owners of Lagos. They called it a go. Omo is a Bini word. So to say. Igodomi Godo is their name. So you don't know that? Omo is a Bini word. It's not Yoruba. For your information. For your information. And I was asking, as I was doing my research, I went and I asked, what is the meaning of Asian? And somebody said, Asian means the people of God. I said, are you sure? They said, it's Umuchubu. But I then I did further research. I went to the map. And I now saw the reason why some Asian people said, Asian, I think it's called, that they are not Asian. That their actual name is Ubiaja. And there's a place called Akaya. These are all Igbo sounding names. And then I looked at the map further, and the map is now telling me that Asian, they are called, the name is not their name because when they accepted the name, they. They call them Ewu, Ewu Asian. Ewu, E W U S A, Ewu, which is good. <laughs> I saw it in the map, I was propagated. <laughs> and look at um, from Asian to Ewanke is not very far. Not far at all. Unbelievable. <laughs> they are Umuchu, Umuchu, Umuchinek. <laughs> Somebody said they are. Oh dear me. There are speakers of truth everywhere and I must recommend them. As I said, the young Yoruba man, if he continues that way, our own Simon, if he continues that way, and many others, which I shall go through later on. Efe uh, is doing very well. They are the ones who are going to vote. These are the people who are going to vote. These are the people who are going to vote. And I want us please to accept this very fact that these people are the ones who we should be listening to we should be listening to them we ought to be listening to them these are our people and they are doing a very marvelous job a very wonderful job a very wonderful job we must as a matter of fact listen to these people fa is one of them I want to be able to assemble all their names. If I, I've said my goons diary, you must go there and listen to him whenever he's on. There is our brother Murphy Uyi Ogiso. You must listen to him. Uh, please, I'm going to publish their pictures and their names. We must. These are the people that tell you the truth. And I hope they remember that well. Any day they deviate, any day you deviate, you are gone. Remain on the truth, always, with no hidden agenda. I said no hidden agenda. Remain straightforward. No hidden agenda. No middleman. No uh uh you will not get no jokes. Please. And I will start from the I will actually start. Let me see if I can start from the beginning. There is Biafra Child. You know Biafra Child, watch Neke. You must listen to Biafra Child. Watch Neke. There is Onyema Chioba doing a very good job. That's our sister. Tamonotonye, Tamonotonye, you must listen to her. You must listen to her. Efe, Owanobo, Efe, you must listen to her. And then I was I watched her today. I couldn't stop laughing. Oh, wow. Sophia Obaze. Hey, this one is one woman on a sword. Oh, my goodness. We love them. We love them. And our dear sister, the freedom fighter herself. We call her freedom fighter. You know her very well. Faith or Ogala. These are the people to listen to. They are the ones that will tell you the truth uncompromisingly. Uncompromisingly they speak the truth. 
and most of them are from Edo. So, Edo, there will be a place beside. If you want to join, you join. You don't want to join, you go. As simple as that. But in any case, the crown or the throne of Igodomi Godo will be respected, revered, and adored always. As I've said, the Isaiah is a culture that I have so much respect and admiration for. And we'll keep it that way in Biafra, even enhance it more. But we can't beg anybody. We are not in the business of begging people. Why? Please, we don't beg anybody. The whole Niger data nonsense must stop. If you look at the map of the zoo, it tells you very clearly that in actual fact, the southeast is in Cross River State. That's the southeast. Ebola, the, the five states in the middle, and Anioma all the way to, to, to Ebanke is actually the east central. They are the central states in the east. And then you come down, you have the south of Biafra, which is Akwaibom and Ejoland. Very simple. But they keep changing. Nigeria has no north, but it has south south. You know, there's no north in Nigeria. What you have is northwest, northeast, and the middle belt. There is no north. But in the, in the north, there is no north. But in the south, there is south south. Not only south, but south south. These are some of the things that I expect people to be able to reason through and know that they're playing with us. And there is anybody telling me, Port Harcourt, I will block you. I will not talk to you again. A white man cannot come from Britain to give me a name. I don't subscribe to that rubbish. I don't buy into that, that inferiority complex. We don't buy into it. Port Harcourt is Igbo Chan. If you write in IPOB and you say it is Port Harcourt, your post will be deleted. Your articles will not be published. There is nothing like Port Harcourt. Nothing. It is Igbo Chan. That's the name. I can't go to England, go to Liverpool and call it Porto Are you mad? A white man to come to your land and his Port Harcourt. I live in, in PH. Fools everywhere. Fools everywhere. What is your name? What is your name? Igor Cha? If you don't know, not Port Harcourt. Harcourt is dead. He's a man. He was a morally bankrupt, depraved, depraved man that used to sleep with little boys. You don't know that? That's the name you're answering, saying you're from Port Harcourt. Mad. Is it Guacha? Because it's an Igbo name, you don't want to answer it. Because you're Niger Delta. Mad lunatics everywhere. We continue. Because I came across also a piece of very wonderful this evening. The names and their meaning. What are the names and their meaning? And it was written by a guardian newspaper of all people. Are you listening to what Guardian is saying? They know the truth that they're hiding it. And I want this thing everywhere. She has to give it to a market to post everywhere. Open it and show them. So that they will know. This is your mad people. Your evil, you're hiding your evilness. You're afraid. Maybe because of the stupidity of those in America. Because of that, I will say, oh, I'm no longer evil. Because the evils in America are stupid. I will say, I'm no longer evil. nonsense people everywhere according to guardian newspaper naming a child is very important in a parent's life the name forms the basis of the child's identity give them the news your name is who defines who you are when my kids are if they go outside and they are missing you are listen he said my name is in america you know where they come from once they open their mouth what is your name my name is in america what is your name the little one, my name is Nabi Kem, you know where they come from. Not that my name is, is Cyril. And then the next question is, but where do you come from? I call it, thank you, Guardian, for writing this. Guardian is one the zoo. It's an establishment paper. These are the people that support evil. But it doesn't mean when they write something, they say we cannot read it out for the whole world to hear. We read it. Naming a child is very important. Is a very important decision for a child's parents as the name forms the basis of the child's identity. Now, do you understand it? Why Port Harcourt must be Igwacha? Not Port Harcourt. Igwacha! I know Yoruba, Yoruba newspapers, they'll be writing Port Harcourt. You know, they're very vindictive and evil. Spiteful and evil. 
as as Lugard said, always conniving, always conniving, seditious, seditious, knocking the people's head together. That's their job. Seditious. You see, Gwacha, the Igbo people, according to Guardian Super, an ethnic group native, listen to Guardian, native to the South Central and Southeastern Nigeria. So they even know the truth. And by Southeastern, they mean Cross River. South Central, they mean all of us, all the way to Iwanke. Because the man saying a do this, a do that, I'm asking him, are you aware that there are Igbo people in Edo, in Edo state? Do you know the Igbo people there? So when I come for my people, I'm not coming for you. If you want to come, you come with us. Not by force. But a banke Ibuakare. That Obumudia, because Obumudia's mother is from Ibuakare. He took Ibuakare into, into Edo, into Bini, into the court, all those things that they're doing there. The Ibu, we are not abandoning not one inch of Ibu land, not one inch. It will be abandoned. It's left for people to say we don't want to be. Then they can go. And the day they said they want to be, we delete them from memory. They can never ever belong again. So when we are coming to Edo, we are not coming for you. The idiots that drew up the Edo map, Edo state, they added our people there. Okay? They added our people there. Very important. So they know that um, <laughs> uh, we occupy the South Central and South Eastern. No, they know. <laughs> South Central and South Eastern. It's very clear. You cannot hide it. There are some things you cannot hide. It is the truth. Absolute truth. You cannot hide it. There is nothing you can do about it. The map is there and very clear for the whole world to see. I have seen a car, Igbo land, Aniocha, Igbo. That's Anioma. Upuane, Igbo land. Isoko, Therefore, Muri, for information. Isoko is Igbo. You are aware of that? Go and do your research. Go and do your research. Urobo is also there. But one thing ties us together. All our mothers, they tie two-piece wrapper, don't they? Headscarf and blouse. Something you don't find anywhere else. That is what makes us unique. So, I would say Asian, Obaji people, which is Asian, for now, go and check. If your mom, those that went to church today, if she tied two-piece wrapper, if she did, then you're one of us. You're part of this family. It doesn't matter what the above Benin says. He only has one vote. About Benin, that I respect very much, only has one vote. When there is a place beside, no traditional law will have two votes. It's only one vote. You vote if you want to belong to Biafra or not. If you don't want to Biafra, then you go. Then we continue our job. But the day you ask for visa, we will not give you. We must all stop this nonsense, Niger Delta rubbish and South South. And I'm glad that respectable Igbo and the Bibio elders have commenced very deep consultations with other clans of Biafra land. Because Biafra will never be like the zoo. As I've said, let me repeat what I said before. Biafra land can never be another zoo, Nigeria, never. Everybody will be on their own. I said on their own. You run your land, you make your laws in your local language, how you deem fit. And that local language, I don't want to, uh, we have to make it in another ethic. No, ethic people are also a BB people. Because they've been playing with us. I have the history here, and I'll give it to you very shortly. I will. But the nonsense happening at Headbridge must stop, please. And and there are many, many things that the whole world needs to see. Those who are killing us and those who are supporting them. I have a letter here from Pastor Okenwa. It's an internal memo that he wrote to all pastors in Middle East region. I don't know which one is Middle East. It's our new name. This is a Yoruba church. I have nothing against the church. They can do whatever they like. I believe in freedom of worship. Anything you want to worship is your business. You can go ahead. But this one now, our new name now is Middle East. I can see the letter here. Please circulate this very letter. Before you know it now, tomorrow they'll start saying Middle East. And we will not, we will not come to Middle East. I have some idiots saying, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Middle Eastern. You know how we behave. Uh -huh. uh, don't give us a name. Once you give us that, you see, champions for that name, they will emerge. They will say, I'm a Middle Eastern. They are not calling us Middle East, according to the Redeem. May the Lord be gracious to you as you continue to labor in his vine. Where the Lord has a vine in the zoo, I have no idea. 
But as a matter of spiritual urgency, we should immediately in our family closet raise flaming altars of intercession for Nigeria. This will have a problem with them. They have come again. I don't know. This is where I have issue. You see the ground. They know that Piafra is coming. Now, what is this Yoruba church doing? Is writing to our people because they know how gullible some of us can be. Do you see my problem with them? Saying they should erect altar, flaming altar, with, with firewood, and uh, and I don't know what they're going to sacrifice if it's cockroach. I don't know. I have no idea. To pray for Nigeria to be what? Do you see my problem with these people? When I speak now, they say, I, don't, I, I, I like you, but I have my flesh and blood from there. I can't hate people. That is part of me. I cannot. But do you see what they are doing? Can you see what they are doing? Writing for inter because they know that Biafra is everywhere. They are now writing saying it's urgent. Write, uh, 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 pray uh, for 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 blood of Jesus in on Nigeria. Do you see? Do you see? I won't say much. The person that wrote it is a neighbor man. He's a okay man. He is the pastor for Middle East region. <laughs> Not no longer Southeast. <sighs> Our men as you. Unbelievable. When we speak the truth, they say we are attacking Yoruba pastors and church. No, I'm not. But anybody preaching one Nigeria, asking us to pray for Nigeria, you're asking for our trouble. Pray for one Nigeria in Yoruba churches in Yoruba land, not in Biafra land. I'm now telling people right this night, any pastor, any church, any priest that says pray for Nigeria, people should walk out of that church. It's an order. They shouldn't go there again. Which Nigeria? What is the meaning of the word Nigeria? Where does it come from? The same Nigeria that took over the whole of NMPC, that people are begging. The, the same Nigeria, I'm asking you, that is bringing Janja weed, open their borders in the north, but close the borders in the south, you people in the south, are you are you people that stupid? You don't reason? You have no brain? They close your borders, but the borders in the north are open? Oh, God. I want to listen to this pastor. He's a Yoruba man. Let's listen to him. Hear what he has to say. He has something very important to say. I want to play it for Yoruba people. I love this man. He's Yoruba, but I love him. I love how you are the I love him. Men, any day, any time, morning, noon, and night, you call them, they stand up, they are still saying the same thing. That is what I call consistency. That is, those are the people that earn my respect. Not those that come with the wind. When the wind blows, they change. They blow here today, they go. It blows there tomorrow, they go. No. No, 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 no. I don't want that. I don't want that. Let us listen to this Yoruba pastor. And hear what he has to say. Very, very important, please. For Listen. If you attack, attack back. He's telling you, back. The book of Hosea chapter 4, verse 6 says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Are you listening? Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me. See, thou hast forgotten the love that God, I will also forget thy children. Yes. You're about youth. It is time for you to wake up, to form a formidable group within your localities. And be ready at any time to defend yourself. This is a priest. These are the these are the Desmond Tutus of this. These are the priests that I like. A priest speaking the truth, not talking rubbish. He never said one Nigeria. Please circulate this very video everywhere. Put it on my wall that they may see it. He's a Yoruba man. These are the people that I love and respect. Not those from Sierra Leone. You know that's a bit about from Sierra Leone. Uh, like the uh, Tinubus and uh, or Koya Thomas. They came from Cameroon. Sorry, from Sierra Leone. Let's continue. From full Fulani's and total Islamization of Nigeria and make Odudua Republic a reality. Odudua Republic. Yorubas, how long are you going to remain dumb to believe lies of pastors and governors and cabas? Are you listening? This is a minister of God saying that asking Yoruba youth how long are you going to listen to lies from pastors from Redeemed Church? For how long? Ask you to pray for one night. This is a this is a man of God. This is a pastor, a Yoruba pastor. Let's listen. Let's listen. Yoruba land, not for full land, in your localities, and be ready at any time to defend yourself. 
from Fulanis and Total Islamization of Nigeria and make Odudu and public a reality. Yes. Yorubas, how long are you going to remain dumb to believe lies of pastors and governors and cabas and coward obas? Coward obas. Pastor Yunok Adeboye was the booster of RCCG and not founder. It was the man that derailed Christianity in Nigeria, especially in Yoruba land. I am not judging, but he created classical modern Christians in RCCG that made many people to fall to the trap of Satan through fornications. He commercialized school churches and deviated from the way. Now, that one is religious politics. I won't go into that. Are you listening? Very well. Your daddy GOs have trapped your brain as, as the cabal is messing you up with Janja weed. So is your daddy GOs writing to you, telling you to put up a flaming altar of Christ in the blood of Christ to, play, to pray for one Nigeria. You will drown in that blood of Christ. You will drown inside it. Check up all walk inside that blood. One Nigeria that is killing everybody. The same Nigeria that is killing everybody you are asking people to pray for. Do you have conscience at all? Do, is it because of the money you eat? You see how these commercial pastors, all these people, these, these sons of Satan, send their pastors. Some of them uh, putting on bleaching. Now, like uh, Shibaja, so used to be a, the picture released of him, you know, as I said, when they shine the floor for you, you're gone. They shine his table. It's not like a mirror. Look at Shibaja. It's now white. As white as Michael Jackson. Look at Osibanjo. Osibanjo is now whiter than Michael Jackson. Only heaven knows where they put him. And I still believe that it, it must have been uh, him in that grave for, for Abakiari. I think it's Osibanjo who is there. You know, pastors must repent. Asarok is empty. Where is your president? I'm asking them. We are the, uh, where are the people making it possible for the Janja we to invade our land? Where are they? Are you people telling me that you're Nigerians, you're blind? You cannot see that the coffin they used to bury Abakiari, there was blood inside it. Are you all blind? Are all of you blind in Nigeria? What is the full honey giving to you people? All of you are cowards. You do nothing. You support evil. You support evil. Whose blood is in that coffin? If it's not Osibajo, then bring Osibajo out. Let us see. If you are telling me that they did not shoot Osibajo in the head and bury him and bring him out Photoshop, now Osibajo is now looking white, like a ghost. Bring out Osibajo to address the world and speak to Yoruba. Allow him to go to his village. Let's see. Osibajo is dead. I'm telling you the truth. Because once they start bringing out, because there is no need to Photoshop a picture. Only if they want to play a game with the world, if they hold Osibajo back, they will say, oh, Nam, the can will complain and say Osibajo is dead. So at the last minute, when he wants to expose um, the, the dead Buhari and the, the scam going on, they will bring him out and say, oh, can't you see? Osibajo is alive, oh, he's been lying to you. That could be the only reason. But all the same, Osibajo, I don't know you as to be a man of light skin. Or I don't know you as as a as a man that puts on bleaching cream. As a where's that name of that pastor that put on uh, his cream that uh, Jubril used to like so much. That pastor, I don't know his name. He loves cream, a bit of cream, and she's in shin, can it any Now I am asking them once again, where is Yemi Osibajo? Why is boss Mustafa doing his job? Nigerians, you claim you're educated. Nigerians, you claim you are enlightened. Nigerians, you claim you are polished. You are you went to your intellectual and you, you, you blew file, a flat file. You carry a flat file with a worn out constitution inside it, talking rubbish. Intellectual. Where is the Where is Yoruba? Where is your son? Unless you're in on this um, Jubril, Jubril is now gone. Unless you're in on this Fulani fraud, where is your son? We don't want he was in a meeting. Can't you see his picture? Can't you see his video? We want to see him outside talking to people. A live press conference. Look at the blood stained coffin. 
Look at Toshiba Joe's picture. I posted it earlier. The, te the table is now shining. They have, they surrounded the Shiba with so many bottles of water. You think if they're advertising uh, table water, uh, pure water inside the uh, Astro, come on. Look at the bottle. He's now, he, he, uh, I don't know, he, he survived COVID-19. Uh, did they ask him to start drinking water? Look, every, now they now use bottled water to decorate. It's the new in thing now, bottled water. He's now a bottled water man. The face mask he's wearing is up to his eyeballs. I don't think this man is alive. I'm telling you the truth. Because it won't cost them anything to bring him out. Why are they doing this thing to this man? This man is a gentleman. Why are they suffering him? Why have they done this to Why are they doing this to Shibaja? What did he do? Who did he offend? Who? But Yoruba cannot look for their son. Very, very sad indeed. And I told you, that Aisha is in charge. As for me, I'm, I have to preach. Okay, I, can't, I have to preach this gospel. If I have to be here five hours, I'll preach tonight five hours. I must uh, say what I have to say. If you're tired, you go to radio and listen. Buhari goes off and cancels appointments, approvals made by Let Kiari. Have you seen the news? <laughs> oh, Buhari did not cancel it all. So Buhari is afraid of Abba Kiari. So all of a sudden Abakiari is dead. Buhari is now cancelling all Abakiari appointments, which is to say to you that Madam President is now in charge. Madam unelected president. Aisha Buhari. Her Excellency. Madam unelected president. Her Excellency Aisha Buhari is now in charge. Remember those times that you saw those videos? Where Aisha was complaining that those in appointments, those that got power did not work for APC. Now she is putting those she feels worked for APC in the rightful positions. She is now in charge. Are you telling me that the old dictator with kidney failure, I know the exact world where he was. I know, he, when I get on the video, they will be shocked. Are you telling me that Buhari was a general is, was frightened of Abba Kiari, that he could not reshuffle the appointments? Now they agree. Do you see that Nigerians are stupid? These are the worst set of idiots in the whole planet. Can you actually read the news? The headline says Buhari goes tough, cancels appointments, approvals made by late Abba Kiari. So it was Abba Kiari that was appointing people. Now you know. When I told you that he was a de facto president, now in debt they have confirmed it. Do you see Obunike? Do you see Obunike PG? Do you see that I don't lie? Nam the can doesn't lie. They brought out one Yoruba idiot yesterday. He's a psychiatrist. He's a he's a psychologist. He's a, why won't I be angry? And the psycho. You are in a zoo. Who is normal in a zoo? Who? I ask you. Look at them. All of a sudden, Abakiari is dead. Even the journalists, even people quoting from Asarok, they are so daft, they don't know anything. Buhari goes tough. Tough now that Abakiari is dead. Cancels appointments made by who? By Abakiari, not you, the president. Who? Hey! Zoo. Zoological Republic. Do you see why they are fighting online? Do you see why they are struggling every blessed day? Every day they are struggling. How do we stop IPOB? How do we do the current name? They can they Photoshop all the pictures on the world. They get you know, a idiot from school where there is no light to talk rubbish. They don't know that IPOB is under oath. All these things, all this nonsense, you're right. Yeah, you're in the UK. You're a coward. Come back. You take IP. <laughs> so they think if they keep writing it, Stupid, idiotic, Igbo men especially, will latch onto it. Is that what you think? Is that what you think? Elohim has destroyed the zoo because of us. We have destroyed Nigeria. You are not going anywhere. That idiot is there taking a, a, a delphi tree with a mask. Doing all that. Only in Asorok. He cannot speak. He cannot travel abroad. You are trapped inside Asorok. And I'm sure before three years, Aisha is a young girl. She'll get pregnant again. Aisha is young. And in Islam, they cannot do abortion. So let me see what she's going to do. She'll get pregnant soon. What are you going to do? 
Then I'll, I'll see. Uh, 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 maybe they'll say he's a uh, you know idiot in the zoo. The uh, uh, devil will say it's Holy Ghost. That God has shepherded man. He's, he's holy. He's the Holy Spirit. You know they are fools, and they just will believe it. That small boy will impregnate you. That little boy. I have, look at his eyes. All I told him he will impregnate you. Your eye will clear. You are. You are. You want to. Uh, you want to play Marie Antoinette. As a hard woman, your husband is dead. Instead of you to bring your husband back and bury your husband, you are with your lover inside that rock. Abomination in Islam. And you claim you are praying to God. You are praying to Allah. And Allah will listen to your prayers. Because you are deceiving Christians. You are deceiving uh, uh, um, uh, 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 Because of that, somehow, uh, God, will, uh, uh, God will forgive. Allah will forgive you. That's why they came. So if, if God will ask them why are you doing this, they say, Oh, I want to go and capture Biafra land for you. You know, I want to the infidels, I want to go and capture them. Where you are capturing Biafra land, that boy will capture you and impregnate you. Then your eye will clear. Your eyes will clear. Then you know what you've done to yourself. Uh, uh, Buhari go stuff, cancels appointments, uh, uh, approve as many. So it was Abba Kelly that was appointing people. Now you people agree. Now you people agree. We have destroyed the zoo. You know, that's a lie. We have completely destroyed the zoo. It's gone. This is not for envy or jealousy. And you, if you like, as an evil idiot, be as envious as you like. Let that envy kill you. You can never be like us. Never, ever, ever. Uh, it's tough when Abakar is there. And you, we have degrees, yeah? You read in Cambridge and in Oxford and in Princeton, in Harvard. Yes. Your common brain cannot tell you what is going on. So you cannot put one, you cannot ask yourself, how come you're cancelling appointments and approvals made by Leta Bakiari when you're the president and you're alive? Oh, I know Mr. President. He's a good, which Mr. President or Mrs. President? Is it like you're talking about? All of you are cowards, afraid of following me. That's why you're betrayers. More oh, the betrayed IPOB betrayed me with the governors. They betrayed me. They wanted me to be killed because I told them Flanny was coming to kill to kill everybody. Now the Flanny has come. Now they're building a gate at a head bridge. <laughs> hey, up by name, I'll Yoruba. Yoruba will say up by up by, isn't it? I say up by or I carry. I don't know which one is this. Up by up by, no, his leg. Um, leg has decayed. Is it not up by? Leg has decayed. There is also a video. Uh, show them how they do it. Amaka, please post it. Let them see. The young Baba with, with Aisha. This boy, uh, people are busy doing uh, Yahoo Yahoo 419, uh, asking uh, uh, old, uh, 90 year old white women to marry them that they love them. When this boy came from, from no, this is not Jubilee, of course, because Jubilee is dead. Came from nowhere. He gets money, pretends to be a president. And sleeping with the wife of the president of the country, all of the and the country thinks he's the president. He's having fun. This is proper, proper Yahoo Yahoo, proper four one nine. This is it. And all of you claim you're smart in the zoo. You're intelligent. Look at the pictures I posted them. Repost those pictures and tell me if that is an eighty year old man, eighty year old Buhari. Tell me with double kidney failure, brain damage, tumor in the brain. I have his hospital records. Mad people everywhere. Lunatics. Is that an 80 year old man? Is that man, is this boy 80? No wonder Aisha is shining. No one will she shine. Well, my fresh blood is blind to the neck of mad people everywhere. We must continue. Look at the Photoshop pictures. And I challenge them, show me Aisha Buhari with the dead Buhari before 2017. Get me a picture of Aisha Buhari doing a lovey, 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 dovey with the old dead Buhari before 2017. I am begging anybody to bring it. You don't have it. Idiots will do Zoom tomorrow. Eh, Mr. President is a good man. I want to direct it to Mr. President. Because Yoruba is ashamed of themselves. If I were to be a Yoruba man, they'll promote me. They'll say, how can I? Hey, 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 we can't promote him. You don't know that? You don't know this is uh, <laughs> jealousy, Yoruba style. 
You know, Igbo, we do our own little greed, as they're doing in Amubre greed. One choncho and Igbo. Yoruba, they give you the real, the raw one. The raw, raw jealousy and envy. They're wondering how come, out of all the people to be saying this, how come it's in Namdekan? If I were to be a Yoruba person by now, oh my goodness. You, you pay a ticket to come and see me. You will pay to come to see me. <laughs> because I'm not <laughs> from them. That's why they behave the way they do. Very vindictive and evil. Not all of them oh, is their media I'm talking about. Look at the look at the look at look at the picture with the coat of arm on the rug. Look at his cheeks. Look at the to tell us he's wearing a mask. Look at his cheeks. Look at it. Puffed out like puff puff. Look at his can you, can't you see it? Nigerians, can't you, can you? Are you all of you blind? Uh, Two hundred million people are all of you blind. Are you all very stupid? You cannot see. Can't you see the picture? What again? I did every night. This boy. Hey. Some people are, are lucky. Yo. God bless me. It comes in many ways. So there is no greater God bless me than this one. This this boy. And, hey. Some of you are going to redeem. Going to. Plan to go to heaven. The boy is in hell. In Asorok. Jida is an all full time. In Asorok. He is living life. Full time. In Asorok. Uh, and you are running around doing one Nigeria with APC. Your age mate is in Asorok. Holding holding down Aisha. You are busy running around with laptop. To, do, doing Iraq. 3k a week. You are doing 3,000. Your age mate is in Asorok. Keeping Aisha honest. And you are there doing uh, Iraq. For three thousand a week, uh, yeah, I believe in Nigeria. Uh, don't go to Niger Delta; it's because of their oil. Your age mate is in Asorok. Look at him, shining. Aisha is shining. Everybody is clean and sh shining. Hey. Nigeria is a drama. I'm telling you, one massive drama. Zoological republic, and uh, who will be there to support them with BBC Ibo, supporting hmm, Yoruba papers, BBC Ibo. Very sad. Ah, there was something I wanted to preach this very day. Hey! Oh, there's no time. I have to make an exception that is a very particularly important preaching I wanted to make. To let the people understand, I think I must preach it this very day. I will preach it because they have turned Ubunike into another new Sokoto. Maybe as we have Katsina Allah in Benue State, we now have Sokoto Allah in, in Ubunike. That will be their new name. Sokoto Allah. They have now given it to... to Hey! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But I must praise Iseluku people. I must praise the Iseluku kingdom. Because they have rejected Miet Yala money. They have. And the reason I'm saying this, I have to preach this gospel. Come see you. I must preach it. Miet Yala went to Iseluku and Iseluku said no. Iseluku said no, we don't want to have it. We don't want you here, we don't want you. No market, no Awasa market. Uh, no, sorry, Awasa. Awasa people are victims. It's no for any market. Yoruba, you are busy dividing us. You come, you say Southeast. Now it's, we now have Middle East. We used to have East Central. The Southeast. South, South. Up or South. Down south, east south, west south, everything. But Yoruba people, we are never one people before. The Yoruba nation, you people, we are not one people before. Hey, hey, I have come to Yoruba, they have cut me off. Hey, Facebook, they have cut me off. They have cut me off. I must go back to Facebook. They have cut me off. I must go back. You must die with me. We are live and direct. They are wasting their time. Elohim gave me a gospel to preach. And that gospel I am going to preach. I must preach it. They have cut everybody off. Because I was demolishing Aisha. I was demolishing Aisha Buhari. And they cut me off. Unceremoniously. Unceremoniously. They cut me off. Very, very sad indeed. Very, very sad indeed. But I must preach the gospel of heaven. This is a live presentation. We are Radio Biafra. 
and the humanity is paying attention. We are destroying this. Do you think I can be nice? I can't be nice to people who are evil. I cannot be nice to you. Are you, are you drunk? I can't be nice to you if you're evil. I can't be nice to you. We are going back to Facebook. We are going back to Facebook. We are back. They can't stop us. <laughs> if you cut us off 10,000 times, I will return 10,000 times. I will preach the gospel that Elohim has given me to preach. In truth and in every honesty. I just had a sip of water. We are live. Tell them we are live on Facebook on my page. Martin Nam the Kanu. We are live on my Facebook page. 400,000 followers, which is nothing anywhere. But that's what Facebook allowed me to have. That's the original one, the original page where you can find me. My goodness. We are back on my Facebook page to preach the gospel of heaven. I am here. David, I'm here. favor. I'm here. What are you talking about? We are live and direct. I want to preach a gospel this evening that Elohim asked me to preach about the Eurobaris so that they may turn from what they are doing and become good people. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by Facebook. I wanted to assert with every degree of certainty that the Yoruba race were never won people before. It was due to war and conquest that made them one. A war and conquest that Igbo people never embarked upon. The Eba nation is a separate people. The Ebas are separate people from the Oyo. From the Jebu. The only thing that unites them is the Oyo Empire. That's the only thing that unites them. And them. The same way that Eba in Yoruba land, Eba kingdom, they have their own national anthem. They have the Eba anthem. I don't speak Yoruba. I would have tried to read out the words for you. But I know this one says, Lori Okeo Owun. I don't want to make mistakes, please. They have Eba. They have their own national anthem. I want to prove to Yoruba journalists that this their divide and rule is not good. It is not good. Yoruba, your divide and rule, this thing you're helping Fulani to divide people and conquer them is evil. Because at a time, you were not one nation. Nobody has dug in to be saying, oh, uh, by age, uh, the woman, the uh, man, or your man. No. We respectfully refer to all of you as Yoruba. And why do you always want to come into Biafra land to divide people? Why? Oh, because you two need access to oil. I've forgotten. I like Ija and uh, Otedola. It's all oil, isn't it? <laughs> Zoo. What happened to the Yoruba? What is happening to us now happened to them. What is happening today to us happened to them. Do you know that... I'm going to give you a bit of history. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Hi, uh, Elohim. Uthman Danfodio, whose grandson was an Adipelo. I want to tell you why Fulani hate our people so much. I want to tell you why Fulani want to take over Delta State. I want to tell you why they are in Opanam, which the Obi of Opanam or the traditional ruler in Opanam did not see. I want to teach him tonight what he never knew. The all-conquering Fulani man. That came from Futajalon. He was actually born in Gobe. His name is Otman Danfodio, the man that said he would dip the Quran in the Atlantic. He first of all 
I will tell you what the history book says about him. I'll read. Following a jihad led by Uthman Danfodio and a rapid consolidation of the Hausa city-states of contemporary northern Nigeria, the Fulani Sokoto Caliphate invaded and annexed the buffer Nupe kingdom. Nupe, we are ancient people. Fulani swallowed them. Listen, you know, all of you talking about one Nigeria, you are preparing your own death. Go and dig your grave because Fulani is coming. The more you say one Nigeria, please go and be digging your grave because all of you will be swallowed up. Now, listen. They have caught us now. They have left us at about 7.6k. We'll continue. If you like, there will be only one person left. I'll preach. They invaded and took over Nupe Kingdom. They now started to advance southwards into all your lands. Shortly afterwards, the Fulani army overran Yoruba military capital in Elorin. You know, Yoruba eras never love to talk about, they never talk about Elorin. They don't like it. And that's how to cure them. Anywhere you see a Yoruba era writing rubbish, simply go and take the history of a Lauren and dump it on the thread. They will disappear. You know, they are masters at deflection. If you write something now, they will never debate you on that thing. They say, oh, but you will run to Ivory Coast. If you're stupid, you follow them. Ignore them. Bring them back to the subject matter. If they refuse, after two attempts, you give them a Lauren. Anything they say, you remind them of a Lauren. A Lauren was the military capital of Yoruba people. We are the IRA on Okakan for wars. Afonja. Their overall field marshal. It was overrun by the Fulanese. They overran it. After they took Nupe, the same thing they are not doing to us. Can you see what they are doing? The same pattern. It never, they have the same strategy. The same pattern. It never changes. But my only happiness now is we are everywhere. The world is watching. They are pretending they don't know. I know that the British High Commissioner is covering up for the Fulanis as best as possible. The, um, the U.S. Ambassador is doing her best to cover all, uh, cover up all the atrocities. We are waiting for them to start. We are in our land, and they came, so we are waiting for them to start. Once they start, and we unleash our own madness, nobody will now say that oh, but they're Nigerians now. They are, they are they are free to travel to anywhere. Are you following? Now listen. They overran. They overran the Yoruba military capital of Elorin. And then they sacked to Fulani. Hey, Yoruba, why are you following Fulani? Now look at what they did to you. Why are you following them? They, they, they destroyed Oyo Ile. Fulani destroyed Oyo Ile. Today, Yoruba is following Fulani. And I'm asking why. Why, Yoruba? Why? Oyo Ile, which was the royal seat of the Oyo Empire, the great Oyo Empire, their royal seat was, was at Oyo Ile. Do you know the Fulani sacked them and killed them? Today, Yoruba is serving Fulani. Hey, unbelievable. Following this, Fulani so much dealt with Yoruba that Yoruba abandoned Oyo Ile and they ran south. In other words, Fulani have been chasing Yoruba into... Hey! History is very good. They have been chasing Yoruba. They sacked them. Yoruba abandoned Oyo. They ran. Yoruba ran away from Oyo. They ran inside. They ran... Hey! Hey! They abandoned their city. Yoruba abandoned their city. And retreated southwards into the city of Oyo. Then it was then known as Agodi Oyo or Oyo Atiba. In a forest, they ran into the bush because the horses cannot come into the bush to hunt them down and kill them. You ran into the bush when the Fulanese came. <laughs> Do you see why they want Biafra to be conquered as well? So instead of Yoruba to help to fight Fulani, Yoruba is helping Fulani to conquer other people because they are angry 
that they were conquered by the Fulanese. <laughs> hey, Elibwe, how can you see Can't send it in. They give me a message and I give to the living. I want you to wake up. I say everything I say so that you can wake up. If you're angry, you wake up. Just wake up and do something. Look at how full and disgraced you. Look at how full and humiliated you. Chased you from one capital to the other. Anywhere you are, family will be chasing you. And today you're serving full and because of presidency. Ordinary presidency. Hey, ordinary presidency. Oh, full and each chase you're into the forest, too. Hey. How are you, man? You're about to be a turret, they are over. And uh, the royal stood into the forest. They ran into the forest. Oh, you and the lady are also different people from a larger. These are different nations bound together by through war and conquest. Yoruba was never one nation before. I never wanted to preach this very good, but I had to preach it. Because they believe in dividing people. You come to Ikore land that you know is Igbo. You have Obi Igbo, you have Nwike, you have Peter Odele, you have Chibi Kaimechi. You know these are Igbo names? You know these are Igbo people? But out of spite and wickedness, you want to divide us. You go to, you go to Izon, the proper name. You tell them you're Niger Delta. You forgot that most of them there are from Arochuku. <laughs> Thank you, Briggs. Are you not from Arochuku? Are you not, are you not, are you, don't have Arochuku blood in you. Don't have Arochuku blood in you. A woman that I adore and respect, of course, immensely. I do. But I want her to stop all the whole Niger Delta nonsense. I can't stand it. Who is in who, which known family in a your land that doesn't have Arachuku blood? I say name the family. Name it. Which family in a your land that doesn't have Arachuku blood during slavery? Name now. Give me a name. <laughs> We have the evidence, you know. Illegal, we have the evidence. Yoruba or your man is different from Ileife. Ileife is different from Elaje. You're different from Eba. You're different from Ijebu. I've counted five of But why do you want to divide other people? I ask you. <laughs> we must continue. Now listen very well. I want Arosa to listen. This message is for Arosa people. I am giving Arosa a message. Arosa, it is a message for you. They say we are giving everybody their own message. I'll give you yours. Let me tell you, and as I'm warning, Arosa, it is also a warning for the Igbo sophisticated affiliates in America. Are you listening? Shehu, Usman Danfodio, Otman Danfodio. His name when he was born was Usman, 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 Bin Fodio. I want to prove to you the link between the Fulani Caliphate and Saudi Arabia. Hi, <laughs> Elihu, Elohim, Elohim. Uthman Danfodio was born on the 15th of December, 1754. He was born in a place called Gobe. Gobe, G-O-B-I-R, is an Agosa town. Do you know when he died, by the time he had finished dealing with the Hausa people, they renamed it Sokoto. Can you believe that? He was born in Gobe. He like somebody being born in, in, in Obunike. The Fulani is now being born. The Fulani did be in Ubunike. Let's say he gives birth now to a child like Otman Danfodio. That child will grow up in a place called Ubunike. But by tomorrow, that place will become Sokoto Allah. As they have Casino Allah in Benway. Can you believe that? 
Hey. He was a teacher. A religious teacher. He claimed he came to teach that he knows how to teach Quran. But he was also a revolutionary. He was also a military leader. He was a writer. And wait for it. A promoter of Sunnah Islam. Sunni Islam. Practiced by Saudi Arabia. <laughs> you see where the foreigners get all their nonsense, their link to Saudi Arabia from, from Ottoman Danfodio. He preached Sunnah Islam and he was the founder of Sokoto Caliphate. So all this Obunike, those in Amansia, all the people you're selling land to, they will give birth to their children, their children will kill our children, and they will rename our towns. Obunike will change. Amansia will change. Opa will change. All the places you have sold land to Fulani, in the next 70 years, their names will be different. And that was your gift to our generation. As an enlightened evil leader. Do you see why I hate Ohanese with a passion? If you know what I know, you won't just hate them. If you see them, you put a knife to their throat. These are evil men. Look at what the same people, what they did to Awosa is what these idiots want them, want to, want them to do to us. Hey, Chineke man. He found the Sokoto Caliphate. Hausa was no longer good enough. The Hausa that was hosting them, peacefully. Hausa people are peaceful people. Hausa was hosting them peacefully. Hosting them peacefully in Gobert. Hosting them. Oh, Ottoman Dafoe, they said he's a teacher. The Hausa king of Kassina said, come and teach my son. Never know. He didn't know he was like, inviting a demon into his home. He said, come and teach my children. All the Hausa kings, they said, let the Fulani teach our children. The same thing that, let the Fulani rule. Let the Fulani be Nassau. Your lives are being wasted. Hey. The Habe monarchy was dead. Now listen. Danfodio was one of the urbanized ethnic Fula. He's a Fula. Fula people, Fulani. They were living in Hausa kingdoms. Living as tenants. The same way they have come now as tenants. That's how they start. They come as tenants. They start pretending. They start pretending as tenants. Oh, dear me. They came as tenants. Oh. They came as tenants living in Hausa kingdoms as they have come today living in Biafra land. Some Igwe have given them land. Hell! In what is now northern Nigeria. The house, the Fulanis came in the 1400s. He belonged to the Maliki school of five, which is Islamic jurisprudence and quadri. He practiced Sufism. Don Fodio thought Maliki in the city state of Gober until 1802. A beautiful city. A beautiful house city. Gober. Beautiful, beautiful house city. They took it over. He started talking about local oppression. Do you know, Alamaji, that you, you know, as you, I asked Alamaji to come with their slate and their chalk. You know, Alamaji? You, did you talk with your slate and your chalk? I want to tell the Alamaji is tonight listening, saying that they can, uh, you are in London. Alamaji, your papa, Ottoman Danfodio, went into exile. He ran to Niger Republic. <laughs> hey. He led his followers like Prophet Muhammad and ran into exile. That exile began a political and social revolution which spread from Gobe, listen, throughout northern Nigeria and Cameroon. They took everything when they came back and was echoed in a jihad movement led by the Fuller people across West Africa. Fulani have been on jihad since 18 something. How did they leave? Do you know who heralded their coming? 
the person that the creature that had that was a vulture. A vo it was a vulture that foretold the coming of the Fulani. The prophecy of the coming of the Fulani was carried by a vulture Udele. Udele carried there. Udele. A vulture that eats dead animals was the one that foretold the coming of the Fulani. That is to tell that they always come with death. It may not be immediate, but death will come. Death always come. Always. Hausa, Bagi, Nupe, Yoruba. There's Ibia. Everywhere the Iga, they swept everywhere. And they always come as tenants. That is why Ubuni Kel should be ostracized, ostracized from Ibo land. The Fulani have been on jihad. What else do you want me to tell you? What else do you want me to tell you? Dan Fodio wrote books. He said he was developing a critique of he was criticizing other Muslims that they were corrupt and greedy and they, they violated the standards of Sharia law. They were fighting corruption. The same thing they are doing today. <laughs> you people are dumb. Yoruba media, you are foolish. Before they take over your land, they always tell you they are fighting corruption. Corruption. That was what they told our people. And that was our peasants. The same thing that Yorubas are doing as some people in America. They agreed. And they came. And their cultures were no more. <laughs> hey! Oh dear. <laughs> Do you know his title? He was a Mujadid, a reformer of Islam. <laughs> uh, these are the people you want to be in one Nigeria with. Where are those people from here talking rubbish? These are the people you want to be in one Nigeria with. <laughs> you have signed your death warrant. You have signed it. And as I was also looking at the facts of life and history, Elohim gave me a message and said I should preach it. <laughs> According to Encyclopedia Britannica, Encyclopedia Britannica, this is why anybody answering to Niger Delta is, a, is an imbecile. What did Encyclopedia Britannica all, all, oh, Hey, that's the highest of the highest now. Encyclopedia Britannica, who doesn't know? I want to tell those in Pandev, those who foolishly call themselves. Niger Delta. That Ibibio people, listen carefully, please. Ibibio people, by which I mean Anang, all the rest of them, listen. They are people of Southeastern Nigeria. Encyclopedia Britannica. Mainly in Cross River State. So when I told you before that Cross River was the proper Southeast, now you can believe me. From Encyclopedia Britannica. Open the Heaven is giving me a message to give to the living. That's what I'm doing. They speak dialects of Efik Ibibio, which means that Efik and Ibibio are one. But I'll get to that later. But now it's how we have a tribe of Efik and Efik man and Ibibio man. People are so foolish. Those dividing you are one, but they want you to be divided. Now listen, they speak dialects of Efik and Ibibio, a language now grouped within the Benue Congo Niger branch. Now listen, the Ibibio comprise the following major divisions. Ibibio comprises of Efik. So it, now I have proven to you tonight that Efik comes from Ibibio. And if Ibibio is Ibonita, what tells you about what is it about Efik people? And the Jaram, that we are all Igbo people. I'm coming. Listen carefully. This is Encyclopedia Britannica. The same Encyclopedia Britannica that in 1929 affirmed that Igbos have Jewish link. In 1929. Now listen. The Ibibio 
comprise the following major divisions. These are branches of the Bible. What is number one there? Ethic. Aeon. Eket. And even Andoni people. And even <laughs> Andoni. Also, Anang. Because I have Anang friends who get upset. They say the people don't like us. You say you're talking rubbish. We are all one people. Iana is a subdivision of Ibibio. Ibibio is the main one. Then Anna is a subdivision. Ethic is. And the proper Ibibio people are those who occupy the eastern flank. They say. Are you following? Are you following? <laughs> Hey, Eligwe, Eligwe. And what are their secret societies, as I said, of Ibibio, of Ephik, of Anan, of Eket? What do they have in common? Hey, they have Ebe, Ebo, Okonko. <laughs> uh, as they would say, they say this is um, end of discussion. Are you going to turn about Niger Delta again? Are you still going to be stupid about this Niger Delta rubbish? Have I now proven to you that Efik is a subdivision of Vibibion? The same thing with Anang, Eyon, Eket. And I have told you what Ibibio means. Is it now very clear to each and every one of you who we are and why they are struggling to divide us and why I hate any idiot Mouthing that rubbish, Niger Delta. We are all one people. One family. One IPOB. Yeah, idiots everywhere. I'm going go, go. Hmm. And how about the job people? Is on. How did they come into all of this? <laughs> I want to prove to people that everything I say is correct. This is continuing, we are continuing on Encyclopedia Britannica. I want to destroy this Niger Delta rubbish once and for all that our great grandchildren, every generation, they will listen to this broadcast. They will know that Elohim came in our time. I want to destroy them. I want to bury Niger Delta rubbish this night. I will preach to, to 12 midnight and belong. Even longer. That them I know that Elohim sent me. What do you call Niger Delta Bunny? People that say that Tibos are landlocked. I want to tell you how stupid you are. I want to prove to you how daft you are. How psychologically inferior you are. I want to tell you that your education is wasted. I want to prove to you that you are nothing academically. Iwokoko. Who are the Bonnie people? <laughs> Their original name, according to Encyc British people, Encyclopedia Britannica, the name of Bonnie which I know our brother gave us as beautiful people, is actually Obani. You Encyclopedia Britannica. Obani. Go and Google Bonnie, B-O-N-N-Y. Encyclopedia Britannica. I'm from Bonnie. We will Niger Delta people. You don't know that you migrated from my hometown in Ibeku. Obani Ibeku was where you went from. Obani Beku. You are in Bonnie. The British people did their research. When they came, they kept digging. They said that their name is Obani. Not Bonnie. Obani. Is there? Is a town. It was situated in the Atlantic Oil Port. In River State. River State. <laughs> Obani Big. Hmm. 
It lies on the Bonnie River. The British call the place Bite of Biafra. Bite of Biafra, Britannica, Encyclopedia Britannica. A tradition, a trading center for fish, for salt, for palm oil and palm kernel. Of the Ijo people. Now they have come in. Ijo people. One. Obani people. Ijo people. Encyclopedia Britannica. Hmm. Oh. Oh. It was one of the largest slave exporting depots of West Africa. As I told you, Arochuku Arochuku was worshipping idol. They were selling people. People would send their sons as priests to go to Atabra to, to go and study the holy word of Elohim. They will sell them. And I want to prove it to you tonight. Not the word of a black man. Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> it was the largest slaving export deposit in the whole of West Africa in 1970. About 2,000, sorry, about, listen, 20,000 people. Most of them Igbo. Most of them Igbo. And other hinterland groups. We are shipped to the Americas, Caribbean and USA. Igbo. So when you see Denzel Washington, you see Blair Underwood, you see, uh, what's his name again? Um, I've forgotten his name. The guy that played the DME. What's his name? Hi. I don't know. It's old age. I don't know. Can old age is disturbing me. What was his name? His name again. Uh, Forest Whitaker Igbo 20,000 20,000 people were being shipped to the Americas from that port the people who were king that's the, somebody called Purple the Purples were kings then <laughs> when the white man decided to end slavery <laughs> our people were not happy <laughs> You see, this whole Niger Delta did not start today. <laughs> hey, there are people that want us to remain slaves at the hands of foreigners. The purple family. Purple white. Purple brown. Purple green. They were getting money from slavery. So that when the white man said, no, we want to end slavery, they said, no, we want to continue. They were angry. They were writing petition to the king of England. Please, who said this? We want to continue with our slavery. Selling their own brothers and sisters. <laughs> it didn't start today. This whole Niger Delta rubbish didn't begin today. To sell our people. Now they can no longer sell people again. They want to sell our future and our children to the full army. Now you understand. I want to bury the whole Niger Delta rubbish. Come here, Nando. Un unbelievable. They we are selling our people. The people family, they said, no, we are not happy. We want to continue selling our people. <laughs> but Britain came and conquered them in the 1850s. And, and as the white man said to them, stop selling your people. Instead, sell palm oil and palm canal. Stop selling your people. That's how they stopped. <laughs> hey, Niger Delta, Niger Delta, Niger Delta, my food. <laughs> oh dear. We are all one people. <laughs> oh dear. Let me now shock you. you do, do, do you want to be shocked with this whole Niger Delta thing? I want to shock you to your bone marrow. So that tomorrow morning, when an idiot from somewhere in Abuja or Lagos answering F young or Robert or talking nonsense, we F you're talking rubbish. I want to destroy all of you, all of you, and your useless arguments tonight. That's what heaven asked me to do. The Ibibio people, 
Just simply Google it. It's on Wikipedia. Ordinary, wiki, ordinary, ordinary Wikipedia. I said ordinary. Go and Google it. As I'm talking, you Google it. If I see you, you say, I will put my two fingers in your eyes. You're an idiot. Once you say, I will push my fingers into your eyes. You're an idiot. A complete idiot. You claim you went to school. You can't ordinarily Google. Go and Google it, Bibio. And follow me as I preach this gospel. This what when I'm very upset, honestly. The Bibio people, listen. I've explained to you before from Encyclopedia Britannica that the Bibio is comprised of a fig. Anang. Eket, everybody. A Bibio. Forget the dialect. It's rubbish. A Bibio. And who are the Bibios? Ibonta. I'm coming. This is just simply putting a Bibio people in, in Google. And follow me. The Bibio people are a coastal people in southern Nigeria. Yes. They are mostly found in Apaibom and Cross River State. Okay. And on the eastern part of Abia. <laughs> Abia is coming. <laughs> they are related to the Anang Igbo. Anang Igbo. Ibu Anang. For the first time, Anang and Ibu, one word, Anang Ibu, is there. Is there. And Efik people, that we are all related. Anang Ibu, Efik, it is here. It is here now. They are all related. They are brothers and sisters. Before I did this research, Elohim gave me this revelation. Way back in 1998, I couldn't prove it. I couldn't prove it. I couldn't. I tried, I tried, I couldn't prove it. Now it is here that we are all. This here, are you telling me that all this e that they don't go online? It is here now in black and white. Who are the Bibio people? They are coastal people of southern Nigeria. They are mostly found in Akwaibom, Cross River State, and in Abia. In Abia State. They are related to the Anang, Igbo, and the Fiji people. We are all one people. This broadcast will be saved forever and ever. So that whatever idiots are gathered and saying Niger Delta, you played for them. Oh dear me. And who are the people? I you see how I'm dissecting the whole of Niger Delta. I want to bury the rubbish. So that anytime somebody says they are Niger Delta, you know that that is the enemy. That immediately, that is the enemy that the Fulanese are using. That is the enemy. Do you know our sister Nenayanya? Yeah, some of you know her, don't you? Do you know her middle name? Hmm? How many names is your name? Ine. I N E. Nana Yanya, some of you know. Madam Nana Yanya. Sister Nana Yanya. You don't know how many names is it? Is it Bibi your name? Is Ine. Arochuku. Abia. The same family. According to researchers on Wikipedia. Is it clear, man? <laughs> Now, let me go to my own people. Who I was in Ecuador. I was in SBS Port Harcourt. I was in Ecuador. I was living in, in Diobo. I think it was my, my two or my three. I've forgotten. You know, I came to Iguacha. I was staying with my cousin and her husband to go to SBS. Dance School of Basic Studies in Omoala. I didn't have any friends. But I used to go to their... Yeah, to their compound to go and play with them. I'll never forget. In Dio, I'll never forget. Now, Ikure is dear to me. A place I love very much. Because it gave me so many beautiful memories. So many beautiful memories. I want to read you who the Ikure people are. <laughs> so, we have now circled the whole of Niger Delta. We've dealt with Ibibio, Efik, 
Anna. I can't. Everybody. I have dealt with his own. Now let me deal with you, brother. So we can put all this nonsense of uh, Igbo, I'm not Igbo, all that rubbish we buried tonight. There are mad people everywhere. You know, here we cure madness. Ara, and I go out and you cure madness here. Yeah? Somebody's from Anna saying, I'm, I'm not a video. What utter foolishness. You're all one. If you come to Ibe, the Igbo that I speak is different from Oho. My people in Oho, my cousins in Oho, is different. The Igbo I speak is different from one local, where my grandmother comes from. You are mad. Slight variation in accent. You say you're different. Are you daft? Whereas Fulani is busy. During the hegemony. And they are just dividing you. Heaven asked me to give you a message. Ikwere. Ikwere is known as Iwuroa. It is one of the sub Igbo groups. Please, listen. Ikwere is Igbo. Not me saying it. Ikwere is one of the sub Igbo groups of the Niger Delta region of Nigeria. <laughs> they can't have the, the love to divide, isn't it? Ikwere is Igbo. Listen, oh, they are considered a part of the larger Igbo ethnic group. They speak Ikwere, which is good, of course. Which is an Igbo dialect. Which is sometimes considered as a separate language. But of course it's not. In the Igboid family. As a result of the quest for Igboid's recognition as a separate ethnic entity. It was the saboteurs in Igboid land that wanted to separate Igboid. They started saying, even the white man or Igboid, they know this. They started saying, oh, we, we, we are different people. They saying, no, you're not. You're Igbo. You are not. You're Igbo. You're Igbo. <laughs> they want to assert ethnic nationality because that's what Fulani fed them. The same nonsense Fulani fed Ogoni people through cancer. We were fed them junk over the years. Igbo man is a, your own flesh and blood one day. You know that God is miraculous. God is punishing all of us. God is using. Full and need to also punish the so-called Niger Delta. Punish them. Because you rejected your own flesh and blood. And you think you can have it easy. That is why the land is polluted. That is why people eat fish and they die. You want to destroy the work of God. Who are you? Who are you? You think that God, like the Biafra, is, is, is sleeping? You want to have fun? After you betray your brothers, you want to go and have fun in the clique? You're insane. Insane. Equal is evil. Not me saying it. White people who are learned. Oh dear me. I'm just I'm just too upset with these people. I will have to close the program. I'm too upset, honestly. Fulani will come. Now they have come to, they have taken our oil, taken the gas, and now come to take our land because of your treachery, because of your stupid Niger Delta rubbish, sad, sad nonsense. You gave Fulani a green light to come. Imagine if we are one together. We will go and stop them at Benu, isn't it? Is that not common sense? I don't like educating idiots because it's, it's wasted. But I thank you, say the good people, please. One family. We are one people, one family. Fulani have taken all of you. They gave a terrorist group 100 billion. All of you are there. You remember know, that they, they, they no longer have sense. So when it comes to an Igbo man or Biafran, when I say Igbo, I mean the whole of Biafra because I have proven it to you that we're all Igbo people. Have I not proven it to you that we're all Igbo people? Obani. Obani Big went to Obani. Uh, it's Niger Delta. We are you are landlocked. Huh? You are like you people are so stupid. Full and feed you rubbish, and you pour you pour out the junk. As full and feed you nonsense, you pour out the rubbish from your stinking mouths. Niger Delta, Bugi, and Dara, useless people. Let me hear Niger Delta from your mouth again. <laughs> <laughs>
so that I could knock. God will punish all of you. And you're useless night at that nonsense. I'll bring this program to an end, please. We must thank Elohim for his blessing upon our lives. And you must remember, starting from the 27th, 6 a.m. in the morning, we're going to fasting. We're going to fasting. After the dose to fall. And I must make one thing very clear, please. Very, very clear. There are three, four people. People are now running around all over the place claiming that they want to raise funds for us. That is not the way we operate. But I want to make some things very, very clear. Very, very clear, please. Very, very clear. Those of you with very wonderful ideas, I want you to start implementing them. But they must be cleared with DOS first. I have a brother wrote something very special here about, um, about how we can conquer social media even more. It's a welcome development. And I would like him to develop it further, please. I have appointed three emissaries to speak to people that want to talk to us in terms of um, providing assistance to drive away the enemy from our land. One is in the UK and two is in the US. The one in the UK is called Rabbi. He is my emissary. I have given him a task, an assignment. And he has to do it. So if he's speaking to you saying he's coming from me, please regard that as valid. His name is Rabbi. There are two mothers we have in the USA. Two of our ladies in the USA. Our mothers, very formidable and very strong. Our USA women leader, Mrs. Okafor, who's in Philadelphia. If she's talking to you about providing support for what we are doing. She is legitimate. She is one of us. I sent her. She's my emissary. There is also our sister, a lady, Madam Oyibo. Those of you in the DMV area, you may know her. In the Washington, Maryland, Baltimore area, Madam Oyibo, she is also my emissary. If she's talking to you about what we are doing, you must listen to her. Those are the three people authorized in the whole world to do anything concerning support for what we are doing. That's one. And the only other people who can issue contact numbers or account numbers for those who may want it are the two people who man our inquiry line. The two young ladies that man our inquiry lines they are the only two people that can only by hierarchy and order our sister Nenea Ine Anya let me put in so they will know she's also from Ibibio. Um, and also our deputy and Rabbi, Mrs. Okafo, Madam Oyibo, and the two people on our inquiry lines. If you don't know our inquiry lines, please, Amaka, try and resend that again. Pin it on the page so they can see the inquiry lines. If you have any issues, that is the line to call. I am going to take um, your... I will take your calls on Wednesday, please, not today. I will take... I will take your calls, please, on Wednesday. And our people must not be distracted. Not every idiot on fake account. Because anytime you defeat them, they go and they open another one. So you stop paying attention to idiots with fake accounts. Focus on destroying the zoo. We, I don't want that Aisha's boyfriend to escape. That boy is our key. I don't want him to escape. We must make sure we focus our firepower on Asorok. And those occupying our lands and the idiots calling themselves Niger Delta. Pan death must dissolve tonight after this very broadcast. Join with Ohaneze and look for a decent name to call yourselves. There's nothing like Pan death. That is rubbish. We are all Igbo people. All of us. I am from Ibeku, Bende. 
after the war, those who were rich men in Omaha were all Ijegebe people. That's what we call them. Anambrane, we all just that area. Enugu is called Wawa. Everybody, we have, the, we have our own names everywhere. There is also discrimination of some sort, even 